that's mine. Production. We send this. Hey, hey, yo, Kyle. Yeah. We out. Project Pat. Project Pat. It's going down. Good Google and Moogie. That thing is juicy. 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 Up, 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 up. That thing is juicy. Up, 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 up. Talk is smart, 
lie to a pimp, you done broke the first rule. I'ma come on your job, I'ma act a damn fool. When your boss walk in, I'ma play it all cool. If he step in I biz, I'ma slap his ass too. All that loud talking hoe need to go and settle down. Or your friend have to beat your ass up off the ground. I got love for your purse, seeming that I love you. Married to this cheese first, and I'm screaming I need no money for a Mac, we drama for a hoe. Paramedics told you through the trauma center though. Got the dip, broke a leg, but I got my bank roll. Try to put a struggle up, so she got her eyes swollen. <laughs> Buy you Taco Bell, but a pimp eating steak. Call red, call it greens, chitterlings on my plate. I was late for a date, and she always tripping. She can hate my fucking guts, but she loving my pimp. I'm a gold little on a hole. If I hit it from the back, bitch, I want the potion. In your pussy stroking, hold a pimp and spoke in. Be your A if you try to play my emotions. I'ma crack a whole dome. I ain't broke a damn low. Not a nigga, my phone, so I broke the I gotta feed the streets. My pussy gon' bleed the streets. Ski mask on my face. Sometimes you gotta cheat to stay ahead in this bitch. Drink, surf like it's liquor. Street life, I have you catching up to God quicker. Stick off. And can't fall into your lip bar. Let the chopper bang on you like a blood or a cripple. So much bread, I'm a gymnast. Made so much money off the dumbest, off the dumbest. Body catcher, slaughter gang, soul snatcher. Yo. Ain't no regular F on fitted, this a fucking rapper. Yeah. No capper, street nigga, not a rapper. Yeah. Chopper hit him, then he turned into a booty clapper. Smith and Wesson, a 4L gang reppin'. We done baptized more niggas than the damn reverend. Yeah. Kappa Alpha, me and my gang, we do all the stepping. Who you checkin'? It's Aspen, shoot, it's the Wesson. Yeah. Yeah. I heard poppy outside. And he got the double law, drop it outside. Check the weather and it's getting real. I'll be outside. I'ma drop this shit and had his pussy dropping like some motherfucker. Type of nigga that can look me in the eyes. I despise when I see you better put that fucking pride to the side. Many times, plenty times, I survive. Beef is live. Spoiler alert, this nigga dies. Keep blinkies. And you know the weed sticky Yo. My finger itchy The Glock like the leave picky Yo. Your shooter's iffy A street punk can never diss me I come straight up out the six And we don't spell sissies yeah. I fuck with her And fuck with her And her I hit up her Tell her do the her sure. Voodoo curse Introducing The Chocolate Starfish <laughs> uh, Welcome everybody Oh that's the wrong one Welcome everybody. Uh, before I get too carried away by music, let's just start the actual stream. I hope you can hear me right now. Oh yes, you can. The marvels of technology. So this is uh, the pre-stream, restream type of thing. But we do have like 40 minutes until the guy starts, so this is gonna be filler content. You guys love filler content. Why are you laughing? So um, yeah, we can actually get started with it. I am not muted, so everybody saying in chat that I'm muted will get moderated uh anyways i was playing some project pat to get this started with because uh tonight is all about drinking i'm drinking uh because we're gonna be drinking over at uh the decepticron's ho house online house his online mansion and um i'm having pre-drinks on this stream and we're gonna be having a drinking game and um as far as drinking games are concerned i I win every time I beat the game, dude, because I'm drinking. I'm drinking. So before we begin, let's catch up and ramp up and ramp up the toxicity. On uh, what are we going to be watching? Oh, now I'm exposing my history to you. Hopefully there's not going to be anything too embarrassing on here. Oh, the racial humor uh, fueled by GTA 5. So let's watch some of his uh, GTA 5 gameplay. It's dog shit. Spoilers. 
I need banana, tasty banana, put banana there you go. in my mouth. This is a video sourced by uh, DSP Tries at Mimology 101. That comes in the... <laughs> Squeeze banana! Somehow he died on the actual opening mission. I've never seen anybody die on it. It's incredible. In a game that has no difficulty levels... It's, it's just standard difficulty. He still died somehow. Talk show radio channels are the worst because the talk show Big ups uh, Jumanza for the sub, dude. ...are already uploaded and owned by Rockstar, and they claim that shit on YouTube, too. I know it for a fact. We can turn it on, but if it gets fucked, it gets fucked. You know what I mean? Any like, crying I can't, about... I can't fix it. There'd be nothing I can do about it. If this stream goes down... If the are you for gone, real? I can't fix it. You dude. It's it just gonna ruin it. <laughs> Didn't we well, already we get say... this discussion, like, five times? Lead up to him playing the game. We talked about... Hey, you guys, would you rather me leave the music on or turn it off? And we still haven't decided. Down all the way. Screw it. No music at all. Okay. Silent GTA 5. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. Oh, no, content ID. Content ID. Uh, also, it, it does have streamer mode, but I don't know how reliable that is because on the radio, you just have, like, copyright music. Content ID alert. Whatever you say. Yeah. I want him to start singing. 60 frames. No, no, no. Baby with ray tracing. Wow, ray tracing. The ray tracing is pretty bad in GTA 5. I mean, it's, it's nothing impressive, really. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Whew. I didn't wreck. I didn't wreck. All right? I lasted at least 20 seconds. I didn't wreck. And we get some yellow drunk driving bar. mechanics. What? That's very impressive. The radar. There's no yellow bar above the radar. What are they talking about? Oh, shit. And again, a little bit of a brain fart. He was looking for a yellow bar above the radar. I mean, it's very nice. I was trying to look for a yellow bar above the fucking radar. God damn it. Yeah, did the game lie? Where did you see a yellow bar above the radar? They lied, dude. Below the radar. Yes. Fucking bar above the radar. It uh, never said it's above the radar. Yellow bar. There's no yellow bar above. I Does it say it here? The yellow bar below the radar. You can see here in the top left corner. The yellow bar below the radar. What? Bro, what the fuck do you mean above the radar? The game lied. Come on, get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to follow my friend, you idiot. Woo! Terrible driving. Movie, oh, we're hitting the movie studio. Ha ha ha. Look out, whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, this was full of, of clown mode oh, fake laughs. Nice. And all that classic stuff you know and love about oh, Dave. Shit. Lost control. Oh, fish tailing everywhere. Oh, wow, shit. look at this. Oh. So, so fun. Oh, no. Oh. Great. That little dinger there. Whoops. Sorry, and apparently man. the first, Trail the premiere right stream was oh, not very oh. successful because he didn't make a lot of tips. So we might be talking oh. about it today. Oh. We might have to have a very serious talk about it. You know how serious he is whoa, about that. Whoa. I'll drive backwards. Here you go. God damn, look at the side of my car. I fucked it all up. Amazing. There we go. Oh, shit. He, he the, didn't see him? Hit the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the funniest fake laugh ever. Because oh it's so transparent God. and it's so obvious that it's not genuine laughter. Look out. Oh, no. Road work. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Oh, Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, okay. Why are you laughing? Don't jump fail. Why are you God laughing? God damn it, I failed. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, look at what this. What a story, Mark. What a story, Phil. And the driving in GTA right. 5 really right. is very easy. There's not anything spot. challenging about it. The, the flying, right. helicopters, planes, it's all pretty easy. But I mean, this dark side, Phil. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, boo? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling That was a good joke. From Chris that was a nice joke. There's some there's some banger jokes in, in Grand Theft Auto 5, and there's some pretty bad and corny ones. And uh, GTA 6 could go either way. Tonight, living. It could be really bad and unfunny, or it could be great. Everyone who's here, we have. But it's not like San Andreas or or Vice City. Those were they had some really sharp writing. Very high attendance on the stream tonight, by the way. More very high attendance since like the launch of Street Fighter 6 last month, which is excellent. Thank you guys for being here. Um, it's awesome, isn't it, to to be able to re-enjoy a game like this from like a decade? Re-enjoy. 
Sure. And he's playing in first person. Lost oh yeah, God. so he can read the Guys. postings. He ran out of the coop yesterday. His name is Evan. Two years old. He is smaller than... I can't read that. We have to find the lost cock. Lost cock. Right. But just look, everything has writing. I mean, yeah, it's kind of blurry. But everything has right. Kind of blurry. A lost chihuahua. Uh, Sparkle, age 1.5. Is there anything interesting here? Oh, he paused in the middle of a mission. He was supposed to drive Lamar, but he just paused to write the read. <laughs> what it says on a poll. Exotic dancing lesson. Dude, like come on. Or how about a site that requires... He always clowns it up in the first episode of everything. All right. Because so he I'm... thinks that there's some chance that a random person is going to stumble upon this and think that it's really funny. Because people in the past have done this and he thinks they will do that every time. I mean, that's the unique... If charm. something has happened once for him, then that, that means there's a chance that it's going to happen every time. That's why he's a gambling addict. GTA, obviously. But I mean, everything... That's what makes gambling so appealing to him. Because once he won... And he there thinks he can win again. Copy your messages in chat. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and ban 400 people, but... Oh, people are copying Derek's messages in chat, like that which are already copied. Very nice. Holistic healing with crystals. Oh, no. She's one of the queerdo... Queerdo? Crystal people who believe that crystals have mythical... That's a very weird term. Where'd you hear that? Oh, no. Queerdo. <laughs> Good wow. luck with that. Do you really believe that? Yeah. One of those queerdos. All right, have a good night. Shit, door doesn't open here. I guess we gotta go through the front door. Back. Are you block. serious? I guess I'm just taking this for granted at this point because GTA has been such a massive game for so long. I can't understand somebody being so bad at it and just not understanding stuff. That is true. But they did significantly improve the details of the game as well. Nah, not really. Why you want so dang slow? Real? They could have done a much better job, but they Why didn't. Did the door open. What? Maybe it works only during the day. It's locked. They won't let me in. I can't get in. Look. <laughs> oh, and again. And it's like this weird ear right, piercing. All right. Here. All right. Um, so guys, I don't even know how to fast, call this I laugh. The weird right. voice crack laugh is so fake and unnecessary. Play for another hour. <laughs> I would say this. If you are enjoying. Please consider supporting. Please. Way, that was a nice please. From my goal of a hundred. We, uh, we need a DSP please tier list. All right. A super chat would be great. I think and, and then we're going to sneak the Pastor Miller one as well. Because we, we have to. Talk about Talk about my wife, please, please, please. We got a couple tonight. A membership. We have gonna zero sneak that in. so far tonight. So a membership or a gifted membership. Oh yeah, the seagull laugh. That, that that's a good one. Tonight. The seagull laugh. So it'd be great to get some gifted members or a tip. Right now we're at thirty-nine dollars in tips at fifty bucks raised. I put on gunner glasses. We get to the hundred. Hundred dollar tips go for tonight. I'll put oh, did he say it would be nice? Cap, which is the cap that's from the, the hell yeah it would be of this game ten years ago. It obviously fits, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh dude that's a good edit that's a hot fucking edit oh we just cut the crying segment with the los santos hat because you know that's fucking true every time i think about the los santos hat i imagine him fucking crying and he had the the complete lack of of thought to take it off because it seems so fucking weird with him with this hat on crying on stream when it says, when, you also have this thing in the screen that says, what's in DSP's closet? And it's just a dude crying. And he's he's so close to the microphone that I'm starting to think that this was uh, theatrical crying because he wants you to hear his pain. He wants you to experience it. It's not him crying. You need to know that he's suffering. So you can feel bad for him. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck this. And I've heard the yes. the theory you. that he was rubbing oh uh, God, a wet, cold water bottle on his face, which apparently makes it easier oh, for you to cry. Up there shooting, there's no one there. Look. Listen. And and I've seen the actual clip. He does do it, but I'm not sure if it was intentional or he was just hot. Who is it? Where? Here, fuck this. <laughs> That's the way it goes in Los Santos. That's the way it goes. 
Oh my god, it exploded! It fucking sign fucking explodes! Wow, it blew up, dude. Ooh. Idiot. Or do that. I don't remember. Oh god, I remember her. Yeah, the Tony missions were bad. The actual the dialogue in the story wasn't terrible, but I mean, you know, I nah. Yeah, right. Yeah, you I actually haven't really noticed him rub a bottle on his forehead before or since. So it might have been an actual theatrical technique, but I'm I'm not really sure that he would know. Oh my god. That that that's really how it works. Alive. I had no idea that, that that's how it works, but maybe he does. I don't know. Oh, also, I really don't want to. I, I I really don't want to think that he made himself cry, like forced himself to cry to seem like so Luke, much of a victim. Ten dollars super chat. He says thank you for ba uh, banning a troll. I did. I'll listen. If someone's bothering everyone and trolling, I'll ban them. Just let me know. Especially if it's I'm playing a game like this and I'm missing out on it or whatever. I need your help. Identify those people. Thank you. What are you doing, no. dude? Oh God! What the? Did you see that? Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh! Wow, it's so funny. It reminds yeah. me of. Uh, All right, so maybe this doesn't work. It reminds me of Suicide Kings, Red Dead Wait, Redemption. That? Remember that uh, hot Wait, piece of content when he just jumped off a cliff and his character ragdolled and died, and he made it into a series that was hilarious. Can I get back up? Oh, for like two people. Um, oh shit! Look what wow, I this did. works. Is such a <laughs> and now it comes the good part. Like more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> oh shit! There they Look are. This. He's stealthing. Pro. Well, you're a great student. I just. <laughs> no. Who the fuck are you? Oh, do something! Help. Fucking do something! Help. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Help, he's black! Oh my god. Uh, I didn't know that that's what they actually said in the game. That makes it way less racist from him. I had to fail just to see that. I had to fail just to see that. And like I said 10 years ago and still today, yes, as absolutely ridiculous as that scene is, probably would happen out in the fucking hills in California, all the fucking stupid rich well, it's a, white it's people a, would probably react. Grand Theft Auto is... They're all satire on what would happen in a certain place where the game is set. Like that. So Help yes, that's what they tried to do. The fakest fucking laughs. It's like the kind of laughs that um, James Corden gets when people have to laugh when he makes a joke. And they play that applause sign, and people clap, and they feel like they have to laugh. This is the kind of laugh they give. <laughs> I just work with fucking repo. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. Follows orders. <laughs> I mean, they will Whoa! Oh, oh. He's having so much fun, dude. Who gives you a slap? A car. Woo! <laughs> 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 Just nonchalantly keep talking. All right, this is this is bad. Uh, let's watch this pre-stream from yesterday, so we can warm up proper style. Cause this is just I I can't stand this laughter. It's so bad. A second dose of throwback Grand Theft Auto goodness, and this is uh the night stream. Uh. On React Days, didn't he used to do just one stream, the, the React stream, and that was his only stream for the day? I guess he's doing two now. Or maybe... I don't fucking know. Oh no, that's uh, that's tomorrow night. I don't know why he made the broadcast for that one. It's, it seems like unnecessary, but... Whatever you want, dude. Whatever. Let's see this one. What do we, oh yeah, we get the fake intro too. We get the false intro. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dark Side Phil. Today, we're going to talk about gaming news and my progress in Street Fighter VI. Uh, coming up next on the Level 1 Podcast. Anytime now. After the, the great guitar work finishes, I need to give a round of applause to the great guitar work. 
Good morning, everyone. On today's show, and I've of got course, it's quiet regarding next week's big Machinima React event. Oh no! Also, an update on my status in Street Fighter Six after yesterday's Street Fighter Friday. Also, it's a nice chill week that is Street Fighter. Just status in Street Fighter days, Six. What the fuck does that mean? Interested in, and a big new playthrough premieres tonight. All this and more on today's Level One podcast. This is so fake. It's such a forced uh, media personality. You know, like like on CNN when they do that shit, like. Uh, Coming up next, um, Welcome something, something. I only use this border like once or twice. It's the villains, the big bads. Um, they're all pretty bad. All the borders are bad. Some of them are worse than others. <clears throat> I really like this one. But all of them are bad. But we only used it a couple of times, so I figured I'd pull it out for today's show. How is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the podcast. We've got a good amount of stuff to discuss today, although I don't think admittedly as much as yesterday. Because yesterday we had a ridiculous amount of game news and the like. Although we do have some game news to discuss today, but... Alright, this is getting skipped, my guy. Results. That is like the definition of mixed results, what happened yesterday. Let's let's talk about yesterday, just get it out of the way. So that way we can move on to all the get news it out the way. this weekend, including no Street Fighter for two days, which I'm sure many of you will be happy about, okay? Yeah. So first of all, uh, I started off yesterday... If, if many people are happy about no Street Fighter, why does he have dedicated Street Fighter segments on every single pre-stream ever? With a three-hour ranked session... Of I guess it's called Knowing Your Audience. Lily Gameplay. Um, Lily is a character who I started off playing with right at the beginning of Street Fighter VI. She is supposed to be in the same uh, native tribe as T-Hawk, Thunderhawk, from previous Street Fighter games. And has moves that are similar to him, but not really. What I mean is they look the same. What I mean is I'm skipping this, buddy. I've never hit a 70% win-loss ratio like that since the beginning of the game. Whoa, and he's, uh, he's flexing about win-loss ratios. No, it... Is there any pros that actually brag about win-loss ratios, especially in fighting games? Because usually when you're good at the game, it shows by you winning stuff in like tournaments and awards and just having a very high rank. Bosses, that's better than Zangief. It's and not like fact, it's Call of Duty or something like that. For Blanca. Later. Yeah, you should uh, tie something else around your neck. That bandwagon. Let's pile on your misery, right? I mean, it's fucked up to think. Wait, what? what? To do with it. They were trolling like... Oh, somebody was trolling. Okay, so... After an hour of getting slapped around, I basically said, I gotta, I gotta step away. I did. I took a break. I used the bathroom. I cooled down. I came back after that hour, and I reapplied myself. And I'm gonna be honest, too. The chat had a lot to do with it. They were trolling like crazy. Like, the chat okay. last night... Was so you got tilted by so chat? What happens is when people hear, oh, Phil's doing bad and he's getting tilted, all the trolls come in. So yeah, but wait, he, now he admits he's getting tilted. And uh, as you might have seen on that being said that we just got off of, we played the clip of him admitting he didn't get tilted. He just got angry. But now he's saying he got tilted by chat because people were trolling. That makes people no sense. coming in acting like assholes. And they were really, really, like, like twisting it, twisting me. They were twisting it. Because not only was I already They were upset, making him lose. But then they're just exacerbating it, right? Ah, yes. I guess that's the nature of the beast when you're a streamer is that People are gonna jump on that bandwagon. Let's pile on your misery, right? I mean, it's fucked up to think. That's like a that's like a basketball player, and he plays a game, and people in the crowd boo him because he's playing the as an away team. He's in somebody else's arena, and then he complains that the crowd was booing him too loud, so he missed a bunch of free throws. That's how people act. It makes no fucking sense, dude. Get the fuck out of here. If you're a good performer, you're gonna perform no matter the boos or. How light the, how bright the lights are. But it is. That's how they act on the internet. A lot of people are assholes, right? People so are anyway, assholes somehow. Um, I came back, and and the second hour, I did start to get better. And the thing is, like, what it is, the rust started to come off. So now I'm the rust the basic combos down. <laughs> Someone helped me. It was Muon actually, who had said, "This is how you combo the level three in the corner. This is why you're dropping it." All right. So basically, after. About an hour of insane amount of losses and losing all my points and rank and going back to platinum and everything, I recouped, and I went on a tear. Wow, he made a comeback. I ended up basically, doing much better. That's and awesome, ended up dude. Winning way more than I lost in that second hour. Yeah, so there you the go. It was already done. I mean, I had lost so many matches that first hour. Uh, but here's the cool and interesting thing about it: because I started going on a tear, I started gaining a ton of points. 
I guess the way the game works <laughs> is that if you continuously keep getting wins, I guess it stacks your points. I don't know how it works because I'm not really nuanced in it. Like, I'm sure the FGC people out there will be like, It's not nuanced oh, yeah, in it. you get this many wins, there's this many points, and you get this and that. I don't know how it works. All I know is that I started getting wins, and all of a sudden my... I don't know if they would care that much huge. about the semantics. By the end of the night. If you're good at the game, it's gonna show. And if you're bad at the game, it's gonna show. And I, I think you're bad at the game. I had not only earned back all the points that I had lost with Luke, I gained some. So I started off with like 19,300. I ended up with like 19,450 or something like wow. that. Wow. So I actually gained some points. Look at this lot. guy. But I was happy to just get back to where I had started after that He negated the, 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 the bad things okay. that happened. He negated the so negativity. Overall, last night, the and transformed it in pure positivity. Wins and 33 losses. Yeah, we don't care about these fake stats. They don't mean anything. Like, I, I, first when I started playing with the character, I kind of, I liked her. Improved dramatically with both, and they're on the edge of hitting diamond. That's really cool. Let me check out the comments right. to this video. Oh, he has somebody. Whoa, what? What? Somebody's making him AI generated ta timestamps for some reason. I, I have no idea why, but I, I guess that's going to help me a lot to get through this fucking dog shit. So let's see if this is correct. Go to the schedule. Let's do an update on the, the event that comes in one week. Are you guys aware of this? I wonder if you're even aware. In one week's time. Wow, week crazy. We're doing. And again, again, this could have been such a such a better layout because his layout with a massive image on the screen ruins everything, and it makes no sense, and it looks ugly as fuck. He could have made it in two windows, where one of the windows is his camera, the other window is the thing he's gonna be talking about. That would have made so much more sense. But it's dark side Phil. He doesn't actually try to do stuff. A special long form. That's not even a thumbnail that he made. Somebody else made it and got paid nothing. Because, I mean, it's really nothing special. React event over on my reacting channel, DSP Reacts. It is the dark side of Machinima event. Wow, crazy. Event. Let's skip this because we already know about this. He's going to be reading a bunch of emails and dancing on Machinima's grave. He plans to go through 400 emails and categorize them into different sagas of his life. This is the AI saying this, not me, as you can see that on the screen. This AI generated. I'm not even kidding you. Another 50 to 60 emails. Wow. Oh, my God. This so is going to be the, the most tedious stream to watch ever. It's going to be even more tedious than his uh, gaming calendar update, which was just two hours of him going through release dates of games and saying that he doesn't care about them. Oh, yeah. And then asking chat what he's supposed to play. I got some work to do. I basically have to sort through all of that. And I have to make it so that it makes sense and it's interesting. I don't want to just show you 400 emails and be like, okay. Yeah, don't do that. I want to tell stories. I want to tell the, stories. Emails. He wants to twist narratives See? from emails. So I need to categorize it into these, I guess, it's hilarious because my detractors say that my what? life has been a bunch of sagas. Yes. Like an anime, right? There's this saga, then that yes. saga, the false copyright saga, the DDoS saga, the swatting yes. saga. The and stop hiding behind the photo, DSP. We can't see half your face. Look at this. That's what I mean. Incident saga, this saga, that saga. I, as saga. As sounds, when it comes to machinima, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Oh, so it's me, right. To okay. To sort it like that. And uh, so that way I can have, like, talking points for each story I want to tell and then show up the corroborating emails that are pertinent to that story. You see? So, so the trolls are right, gonna be pretty cool. I guess. But in, in this specific scenario, they are right. Because it's actually, I mean, this is my 15-year right. anniversary coming up, right? Okay. This event essentially will be covering the years of, like, 2009 through... 20 early 2017 it's oh gonna be no kind of a, a trip down memory lane of oh all no that happened to me and machinima was involved it's gonna be in. terrible and it's gonna be him reminiscing on a past where he was way more successful and actually had an actual business because he was connected to a network that was an actual business and he was making good fucking money and now he's dark side phil fully disclosing it for the first time i've never fully disclose the truth behind any of this stuff because I worked with the company and obviously when you're working with a company and they're the ones who are paying you, you don't want to be talking junk about them. You don't want to be showing their, their shortcomings and the problems that you had with them. Um, and a lot of the times I did hold my tongue. Last night's DSP interest weighing Basically, I go Hi, boyfriend. Hey, big ups, Vikes. What's up? Uh, let me give you a heart on the super chat so you know I loved oh. it. 
I loved your message. The June the King documentary. Quote unquote, I love your message. Then I'm going to be message. doing this entire saga myself. Oh, why right? is it so Where dark in here? I have a ring light. It's supposed to make me feel light. And show you the ups and downs that I had with them. All right. Should be pretty fun. It's something unique and different and interesting for React content. Um, I hope that you'll join me. Plus, by the way, there'll be food and other fun stuff going on that day, too. It's not just that. There'll be other stuff. We'll be talking and chilling and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's saying, um, dude, he's saying there will be food like you're invited to actually eat food. That's ridiculous. Oh, you guys, I hope you come over. There's going to be food. Well, I, I'll be eating it and you'll be watching me eat it. So, yeah, I, I guess so. So there you go. All right. So... Very nice, guys. That's coming up. And, you know, all I need to do now is basically, like I said, sort the emails, and I'll be good to go for that event. You know me. I can, I, I'm can, i good at talking and telling stories and uh, recapping history and everything, so it's not a big deal. It's just a matter of getting everything sorted for the event. I'll have to take some time out this week to, to do that. Um, but it's all good, and uh, I hope you'll join me for that next week. All right? All right. So now the world cut up on all that stuff. Let's talk about the schedule. Today, no Street Fighter Six. I know some of you are very happy about that. We're starting off today with Final Fantasy 16. Oh, shit. Some people are very upset about that, though. Like, oh, you're still playing this game? Yes, I am. I'm still playing Final Fantasy 16. We're not dropping it now. In fact, as of this morning, we are currently... Uh, I guess we're going to be uh, in the dark. 26 day. plus hours into the That's game. That's how life works. All right. And if you actually, like, take a look at... Sometimes it's bright, and sometimes you pretend like you can't turn on the lights. I'm definitely more than halfway through it. Uh, story -wise. Okay, this gets skipped and... because he hates Final Fantasy 16. That's kind of it. He thinks there's a bunch of padding and he really wants to get it over with because it's not getting a lot of success. Have to go but up. You're absolutely right. That's what I meant to say, JJNS. Thank you. That was a and now he's gone. Well, tonight, tonight's late stream at 6:45 p.m. Pacific time is the premiere of Grand Theft Auto 5. Terrible. Xbox That's really bad. X edition. I guess we could just call it the 10-year anniversary playthrough. I think that's kind of what we should call it. Yeah, you like should call it with a gimmick name, even though it's not really a gimmick. But you should give everything gimmicks so it sounds more special until somebody tunes in and then realizes it's not special at all. Anniversary playthrough? That's how it works in DSP land. This is supposed to be a podcast because he called it a podcast. The game released since the 10-year anniversary of my original playthrough. However, I still don't even know if I have the right version of the game. Because and as you know, he yesterday didn't. live on this stream, we were trying to figure it out. And listed on Xbox Live, there's the Xbox One version, the Xbox Series X version, okay, separate. When you try Dude, to so, okay, hold on. As you can see in chat above me, he is actually on his stream right now. He said, good morning, everyone. But he hasn't actually started his stream, even though it's six minutes late. W wow, what a professional. X version, nothing happens. You click install and it literally just sits there and nothing happens at all. Okay? Now you can now, install the Xbox I, I, One. I would understand this, right? It may be a, a an Xbox an Xbox issue, right? But the thing is, it's not the right place to do all this shit on a podcast, right? You manage that behind the scenes. You figure it out. If it's the right version, if it's wrong, you test it out, you download it, this and that. You don't need it to, to do this on the actual stream version by itself but there's also something that says it's a bundle and it says the bundle includes xbox one and series x editions plus gta online so i installed the bundle right okay but we get it let's skip this not clear if it's the right version or not and there's no way to and he doesn't know there's no indication have you tried to play the game and see if it's 60 frames with ray tracing by myself. and if it's not then it's not the right version no. so that's tonight 645 and that's tonight if you didn't do so yet... Wait, what? He's begging? For DSP versus the internet. Oh, yeah, he is. Show. Oh, speaking of that, uh, I'm going to be... I already said this. Um, I'll be doing it uh, alongside the Decepticon. There we go. The the Drink Zone and, and Endurance Run featuring me. Uh, DSP reacts to the internet. So it's going to be another gimmick stream where we drink a lot. And in the end, it just devolves into us listening to, to King Cobra JFS music. And didn't he do this saga BS it? when he did a day SP reacts to the Frederick Nudson and Doc Hidden? I guess he forgot. Uh, I guess I forgot too, because I can't really give you a, a, a right answer to your question. Maybe chat can, but I will give you a right heart to your super chat because that's what I can do. I can give you a heart when you give me money. 
If you're a channel member, it's a very special ESPN thing. Reacts, my sister channel, please. His post sister channel. Now, if you didn't do so yet, you're not going to get in for the show because what happens is at the end of this uh, night stream tonight and the end of, end of the GTA stream, I'm actually going to sit down and make the playlist, which is going to have all the videos for tomorrow's stream. And if you didn't post up your videos by the time I make that playlist tonight after the late stream, you're asked out. I'm not going to be adding videos last minute. So please do. How but do I mean, do he that? definitely and has sagas to his career. The main channel they they definitely are a thing. Members only posts there. We can post you have the, the Twitch saga. You have the Machinima saga. You, ha you have the, the Burger King saga. Everything has a fucking saga to it. Depending on what current drama is happening to him. about 20 memberships to DSP. Oh, and he said asked out. Since more people had the opportunity to not make know. videos, we had bigger variety, and we had some videos that we never even had seen before. Uh, you know, that style of video, and it worked well. The show went... Oh, and he just posted a brand new short. Let's check that one out. I'm sure that's going to be quality content. Oh, this is the one? It's not even the one where he says he's black? Just keep driving where you're going. Just keep driving where you're going. Okay. He's got the car. And look at it the way you're going about this. I guess you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just work a repo. I appreciate it. Follows orders. And again, he's the worst part of his own content, which is impressive. I've never seen anybody like this, where you're the only guy doing something and you're the worst part of it. Because the, the glitch itself was funny, right? Franklin is driving and he glitched, so the voice lines are repeating. And he keeps crashing into stuff and he's supposed to be driving straight. But then you have this fucking boomer alcoholic yelling over it and doing fake laughs. Yeah, no, that, that's a no from me, dog. Dog? Really well <clears throat> so but so people wanted this i guess this, uh, he's gonna be shilling it on the podcast on the reacts all right now tomorrow night normally what we've been doing the last two weeks has been doing community nights in street fighter 6 every sunday night and people have liked this because they can jump in and play me with a variety except of jade jade soon. is still begging in chat begging that he can play dsp really, last week's was really smooth but we got a problem this week the servers are going down for maintenance at 8 p.m pacific time because they're preparing for the impending release of the new dlc character this is no longer a problem we can skip this or rush down in the game yeah hashtag justice for jade in chat please we'll see but that yeah he says dsp please pay you so he wanted to pay dsp to play him like dude come on man just just let the kid play change just let him play tomorrow he's an actual genuine fan he sticks around he says hi chad what's up my uses What's up, my brothers? He's having fun. He engages. Uh, so what? He's disabled. So what? So what? Treat him like everybody else. Play him in Street Fighter. Let him win a round. Bro, Come on. I'm, I'm only Stop being a fucking asshole. Tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Uh, and go from there. But it should be fun to try the new character all day long and see how we do with them. Okay? So that's tomorrow. Tuesday. Final Fantasy. Oh, it's come we'll Tuesday. Continue. We get to skip this. So right now he's at Diamond Four Star. I'm going to get him to Master, but if we can at least get him to Diamond Five Star, I think that would be great. So Blanca, oh, like the Hogan, Street Fighter every day because now you're getting two entire. Yeah, definitely. I mean Jade, I've I've seen the gameplay. He is not good. I I believe he's playing to the best of his abilities, but you know DSP would double perfect him every single time. But that's not really the point. The point is having a community vibe, right? And you get this member of your community. He's a kid that genuinely enjoys your stuff. Just give him a round. You can destroy him the rest of the time. You know, whatever. Get, let him win a round. No Street Fighter. It's going to mean a lot to him. Whatsoever. So, there you go. Hopefully you're appeased. And being that I'm playing GTA 5 tonight, I hope that we'll get a good crowd for that. Even if it's not yeah, we, a giant we didn't. mainstream crowd. I do hope Mainstream crowd. crowd. You're playing Grand Theft Auto 5, dude. What kind of crowd do you expect? Everybody has already done everything in that game. Including mods... And, uh, I mean, King Jad did a, a Chaos mod the other night, which is infinitely more entertaining than fucking Darkseid Phil playing the vanilla game. There you go. When the Chaos mod, a bunch of crazy shit happens. The people have played the online. 
And you're playing the vanilla? It is an anniversary playthrough for Come me. Come on. I've only played once fully ever. Okay. Um, I'm not going to remember as much about the plot and everything. Cause wow, it's that's, one yeah, that's crazy. Of it. Um, so it should be fun and special and interesting, and I hope you'll join oh, me it's, today. It should be special somehow. Nine. Okay? Dude, I wish. I would, I would delete my channel for DSP to play Grand Theft Auto V roleplay. And be on the actual microphone and role play with other people. I would love this. That would be the best thing he's ever done in terms of content. It would be so good. Why am I so dark? God damn it. I have a ring light. Cool. That's how it's supposed to work. All right. Outside of it's all supposed of that, to make you not dark. A couple quick news stories to talk about before we get to shout outs. Oh, uh, hey, th that's here. better. There we go. About. All I have to do news is restart my one. camera. Just listen to this. Ubisoft. Ubisoft has begun sending out notices to gamers who have not logged into their Ubisoft online accounts in many years, saying, hey, how you doing? So we noticed you didn't log into your Ubisoft account. Well, if you don't log in within 30 days, we're deleting your account and all the games associated with it. Okay. I actually don't fucking get this. I really don't get it. If you, if you like your account so much, you can just log in and then that's it. They send you a notice. It's really not that big of a deal. I I really don't get it. And he's having a dramatic pause so it can sink in. Okay. I'm not kidding. So? They don't have... I guess... There, there shouldn't really be much of a reason for them to delete your account. Because it's not like it's taking a lot of space having your account info on there. It's not like YouTube where you're actually taking space on somebody's server. Here... Oh. And he it? lost it. Uh, I guess I can. What are you going to do? Here is the actual Ubisoft support response what? tweet. What? I'll read it. What? Is this how we're showing tweets? Dude, please retire. Please, fuck off. If this how we're going to be showing tweets on a, a interactive live stream on the internet. This how we show tweets. To you word from word. He's just showing his phone with a tweet on it. And it's just blurry. Hey there. We want to chime in and tell you that you can avoid having account closure by logging oh into your God. account within the 30 days. Since yeah, it's really not that big of a deal. If you if you really care about it outside of being outraged, just log into your account. Select in the cancel account closure link contained in the email. Not that crazy. I want you to lose access to your games or account. If you have any difficulties logging in, create a support case with us. Now, the actual question is, do we really need you play? And, and all that it entails. Do we really need that platform? Is it necessary? It's really not. They're actually confirming this is real. Okay. So they just decided arbitrarily, if you haven't logged into your account in years, we're just going to delete it just because we feel like it. There's really, I mean, there's no purpose to doing this besides maybe saving some server space for them or something. But they just how are care. you? How are you occupying space? Really? They're like, oh, well, we just, uh, you know, we just decided to delete everything you own because you haven't logged in in a couple of years. Yeah, that's stupid, but if you actually care about it, you can just log in. It takes like five minutes. But you forgot your password, didn't you? Because you don't actually use Uplay. Nice. <laughs> I actually don't even know what else to say about that. It's 100% anti-consumer. It's fucked up. It's just in line with what Ubisoft is. It's in line with Yves Gimeau's mantra as the leader of Ubisoft. What is it? I mean, he doesn't give two fucks about anything. The guy's yeah. a terrible leader. I mean, yeah, he's he terrible. He consistently makes bad decisions over and over. And we just, you know. Yeah, and, and I've been shitting on Ubisoft more than DSP. And I don't really get how this is that big of a fucking deal. It seems like there's no repercussions for this company. They just continuously do the wrong thing. Yet somehow they keep getting by, and it's all good for some reason. It's very bizarre to me that this is the case, but whatever. So, hey, if you have an Ubisoft account, you haven't logged in in years. I mean, for me, yeah, years. once or twice a year, usually, there's an Ubisoft. Okay, so if you don't log in in years, I, I assume you don't actually care about the thing. ...game that I play, so I'm logging in actively and getting access to the games and stuff. Uh, plus, most of the games that I buy aren't through the Ubisoft accounts. Most of the games that I've ever bought were through, uh, like, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network... It won't affect that. This is a, a game that you got directly through Ubisoft. Because remember, they had like their own app and stuff on PC and stuff Yeah, like that, they still do. Their games or whatever. So that's what you got to be careful of. That's what it is. But still, it's just bizarre, right? It's absolutely bizarre that they would do that. You own the rights to the game. You bought them. What gives them the right to just say, well, we're deleting everything. Fuck off. Like, what? No, I paid you money. 
So now you owe me something for that. You can't just delete it because I haven't checked it out in two years, you know? I don't know. But anyway, that's what's going on with them. More, more of the same. There you go. Slayer says, isn't it normal that your data would get deleted if you didn't log in for a long time? Well, here's the thing. Yes What and is no. the thing, Phil? Yes and no. There's a difference between a free account <laughs> that you haven't used in years, and yes, they are trying to delete, say, uh, defunct or abandoned accounts, versus, oh, you own digital rights to games associated with that account, and if they delete the account, you lose your games. That's different, you see? In which case, it's free, and therefore they can do whatever they want with it because it's free, versus something you paid for. You see, that's the difference. Again, if you really care about it, just log in. If you care about it, show that you care by engaging with the platform that you supposedly care about. Um, here's an interesting story. Just a couple of years ago, we were all talking about these NFTs. Oh. Non -f -f Forget about it tokens. What are they? What? Nonsensical. Non-fungible token token. Tokens. Come on, it's really not NFT that hard. For, right? And when they were first announced, it was absolutely hilarious because we all agreed as gamers. We were like, NFTs don't seem to have any real purpose or value besides making money for corporations and companies. Why would we ever care about NFTs? And if you remember, people were really pushing NFTs. Oh, you own a digital piece of history and you own the rights to it and blah, blah, blah. And everyone was like, no, you don't. Literally, anyone could copy it. It doesn't matter if you own the original if the copy is identical. This doesn't make any sense. This whole NFT thing is so fucking stupid. It's completely dumb, right? It is pretty stupid, considering that we kind of had something that was along those lines, and it actually worked. Uh, and that was the Steam Marketplace, where people could have owned some kind of a skin, some kind of an item. They could bet it on something. We, we used to have that back in the days when uh, CSGO was a thing, and people were betting that, and they were winning skins or losing skins. That was fucking great. We kind of had that. So, the reason I bring it up today... This guy saw a really funny tweet this morning. It worked pretty good. So, uh, two years ago, or three years ago, when the NFTs were first on the rise, and everyone was talking about them and trying to buy and sell them and make money. Hmm, has it been that long? There was a tweet of Jack Dorsey, which I believe he was the creator of Twitter, correct? He was so a Twitter guy, his yeah. His first tweet ever was in March 21st of 2006. All right? And his first tweet ever... Basically, it says, just setting up my Twitter. They made an NFT of his first tweet ever. All right? And they sold, All right. get this, they sold the NFT of Jack Dorsey's first tweet ever from 2000. Is this dude still crying about NFTs in, in the current year? Six for $2.9 million. Guess how much money that... I just saw the vid by Seraphim about Phil being a baby. Bottom line is he contradicts himself, and in his head he says this is about me and how I want. Um, I don't know who Seraphim is, even though it, it kind of seemed like I uh, it's familiar, but I don't really know that. NFT. I'm sorry, Snow Yosef, but I'm gonna give today. you a fart. I don't know, like 500 I'm bucks. Sure, it is absolutely appreciated in. Yeah, value we get it. DSP is fucking stupid. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Four dollars! Look at how smug he is. He knows better than you because he never takes any kind of risk, so he's always safe. And he can always say he told you so because he never takes any risks. And I'm not saying the fucking NFT was a good idea. It's a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> oh my god. What a bunch of fucking nitwit idiots. That's yeah, there we go. That's That was the bottom line. You just wanted to call somebody a fucking... Idiot. All their money on this NFT idiot. bullshit and lost. Yeah, you spent all your money on fucking Hogan's and you lost everything. You never got a single cent back. Not a not one penny. Never got one penny back from any of the mobile games he ever played. Not one penny. What a bu I'm sure there's people who thought this. Was yeah, gonna be like he's the fucking new smart. Probably... That makes this that that's what makes this such an ironic segment because it's coming from Dark Side Phil. It's Dark Side Phil. If it was Young Yeah. Making this segment, I would kind of understand it. Invested a ton of money into it, and of course, who? Rich people, dumbass. Rich people. Oh, I'm gonna jump on that. Let me throw money at it. Well, rich people, shit. fucking who stupid. The am fuck I right? Cares about NFTs. Remember cares, when dude. two, three years ago, companies like Ubisoft Eminem cared. Us, oh, NFTs will be the future of games because when you play games, you can buy or earn NFTs, and then you could resell those later for money. So while you're Whoa. playing games, you could actually I should make buy some. money and earning. We should but, make a DSP yeah, NFT. I also play games and make money. It's called... Oh. 
Why did he laugh like Jared Leto Joker? <laughs> I really don't know, because he's turning into one. He's uh, becoming a joker without any kind of chemicals. NFT scams, a golden age of Twitter. But bro, they, they, they still keep going. They still keep going. Content creator. I still see him. Not trying to resell some bullshit token that means nothing. It's completely What does a Hogan nonsense. mean? What is a right? Hogan? <laughs> what does a zombie it's Triple hilarious. H mean? Oh, we found out this revolutionary- By the way, this is the same guy. He spent like $1,200 a couple of days ago on Champions. That's a shout out to TJ Gamebox. He tracks that shit. A new way that you can- make. 1200 not getting a single penny back not one not one not one Make money zero while playing video games oh you mean like the tens of thousands of people on the internet who are doing that right now you fucking idiots yeah but that's not they they mean something that the the your regular gamer can do not those big people that are streamers or content creators whatever <laughs> That was their own, their whole idea is that while you're playing a video game, you can make money by making items and stuff. And then they try and sell it to people who are just, they just don't know better. Anyway. Well, I mean, the fucking, the Steam Marketplace was so good, man. I remember gambling a bunch of skins on, uh, on ninjas in pajamas, nip. And they fucking lost, and I lost all the skins. But it was cool, because I felt like I was engaged in it. And then I gambled a bunch more skins, and then I lost them, and I... Then I won some uh, uncommon skins. Uh, speaking of skins, um, segue into DSP being live. I don't have a good segue, so you're going to have to do with a template segue. Yeah. Are you guys hype? Uh, you shouldn't be. We're watching Dark Side Phil. You should never be hyped watching Dark Side Phil. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 dog, 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 dog. 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 it's the level one podcast, yeah, we should have a that being said competition about who can make the best level one podcast intro, that's actually a really good one, I should write it to the guys in the, in the chat, hold on, give me a second, good morning everyone and welcome to the show, how is everyone this lovely Sunday, it is the 23rd of July 2023, I'm DSP, and I welcome you here to the show, the level one. There you podcast. go. Uh, good stuff this this week so far. And it's uh, it's too quiet. Right, quite a lot of great streaming fun that we've been having here uh, together on the internet. And I hope that you guys have been uh, enjoying everything that's been happening. In fact, I would like to talk about last night's stream of GTA 5 anniversary run, um, which went pretty darn good, I would say. I was. How I can you tell if he showers? In some ways. Um, so oh, because his hair is puppy today. like that. It looks weird. But it also today. looks greasy. A lot of fun over on DSP Reacts, my sister channel. His uh, sister channel. Some clips. And, of course, everything else, including today, I have a special topic that I would like to talk about. Although what? I don't know how much I really want to go into it. Uh, because, please don't. Well, you'll understand once I start talking about it. Basically, last night, I was getting ready for bed. And, you know, I was browsing around on YouTube, as you know, at, at light nights. I sometimes watch Street Fighter videos, tech videos, <laughs> to try to watch high-level players. Play this Street is Fighter so 6, pathetic. Learn some techniques. I mean, I know he means it as a particularly as a flex, that, but it's you know, really pathetic. Street Fighter Six today, but I was just browsing around. Yeah, the gin browsing, <laughs> the hate watching other people better than him. Oh and my I god, I could have been that guy. And some people would say, "Oh, you you made the mistake of clicking on it." Uh, no, I don't think that it was a mistake at all. I was absolutely fascinated. I was posed with so many questions. And uh, basically, I'd like to talk a little bit about that today here on the show. You'll see what I'm talking about uh, in just a bit when we start discussing it. Um, and we'll see what happens when I start talking about it. Okay? All right? Fair enough. Oh, it's going to be big drama. Okay. Or, or right. else it's a nothing anyway, burger. To the show. It's either it a big drama day. or a nothing <clears throat> burger. It is React Day. So I certainly hope that all the people who are members over on my channel, DSP Reacts, posted up your videos in a timely fashion. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel you, Chad. He might have saw the, the Dancy so scrolls. You your, your video in those community threads. But I don't know what he can actually GTA debunk in it. Uh, you didn't get on the show. You, I really don't know. I clearly state what the cutoff is right in those threads. So I hope that everyone got their videos in. We got a good uh, amount of videos for this week. About on par. Usually it's around 50 to 60 videos. <laughs> And we never get through all those. And I don't think we're going to get through them this week either, you know. So uh, we'll see well, how, the, how the show goes. What, I, what I've liked is that last week, because we had 
some new members. And what I mean by that is the week before, live on that stream, someone had gifted something like 20 memberships to the community. So because of that, we had a new variety of people who were members and who oh, were- Oh yes, and video. they posted a lot of and quality uh, videos, such as DSP pedophile apologist show. video. Was and actually, in my opinion, one something of the best else. Months. It was no, it wasn't stuff that we had never seen the likes of before, and it was highly entertaining, fascinating, really. Um, not all of it, of course. You can get some stuff that's kind of a dud, but you know, a lot of it was good stuff. Like, oh, interesting. Now, last week, I believe we had another five to ten gifted membership, so that was another opportunity for another five to ten people to nominate videos for this. Oh, uh, this show. is the scam. So I love this scam. Again, this will result. In some better, we got new uh, members, you know, so the show is so good. Of videos uh, I, today, I hope we get new members, members this we week, so the show there? can be even you better remember, this week. The highest level of member, you're guaranteed to have your video watched once a week on the show. Okay, that's part of the buy-in of being such a big high level. That's member. a part of the buy-in. Nice gambler like term right here. I think it's four dollars on YouTube, or at least that's what my pricing is. I guess you could price it differently on your channel, but mine is four dollars a month. Um, so if you're a standard member. You basically you nominate videos two a week and it goes into a playlist and that playlist I literally just hit shuffle and we just play them in a random order and that's how we watch them every week and some weeks we get through more videos than others depending on the length or if I want to watch more of one or pause and talk about it you know but it's completely equal chance from any channel member to get their video watched because everyone's on the same page it's just random select by YouTube so we'll see today how it goes I'm excited it's, it's a rea or it's an interesting show good good thing is I don't have to play games Right when I'm doing it, I get to talk about is, clips. I get to interact with wait, you guys. The, the good thing is that he just, doesn't have to play games. Three hours this guy who has a passion time. for playing right. games. So I'm excited for that. You oh are man, too. I love it's not being able to play games. Today's this podcast. So fucking we'll tired. Pop up on the screen. It's a good that will thing. say, hey, everyone's going over to DSP Reacts. Click here to go, and you click right over there. Wow. Like, yeah, to my sister channel. The stream is that from the future? Set up. I just got to get it live after this show ends, and and then we'll roll right into some fun React content for the week. Okay. Now. A big reminder to everyone. Next weekend is React Weekend. Terrible. It's actually the first weekend in many months where I'm doing tons of React content as a special celebration. All right? So, on Saturday of next week, which is July 29th... And now he's going to turn on the big picture. ...called The Dark Side of the And we're not going to be able to see right? half his face. This is going to be all about the six-plus years when I was in a part wow. of the network on YouTube called Machinima. And the ups and downs and all the interactions I had with this company. And I'm finally going to spill the tea because they don't exist anymore. They went out of business uh, many years ago. And because of that, I'm not under any NDAs anymore. I can no say NDAs. I about my happenings with this company. And I have a lot to say. I do. You know, oh, yeah. He's going to expose them. And things that happened when I was part of them. Uh, sometimes it was really positive, And sometimes it was laughably, jokably, unprofessionally stupid. Um, there's a good reason why they're out of business, to say the least, okay? I mean, so, yeah. It's not uh, really a mystery. One, they were a mess. A long form, well, it's not really a long form, but a documentary. It's about an hour long by June the King. I'm going to do a live react to that. That's probably going to last about two hours. Then I'm going to be talking about my personal history with this company, and I'm going to be showing you tons of emails and, and things that corroborate what I'm saying to show you everything that I went through. That was a juicy snort. Company. I'll be right back. Okay. I need to hit the uh, bathroom. It's going to be a fun event. It really is. I think that you guys will enjoy it. Um, it's going to be something very, very different from what I usually do. I have not done a long-form React event uh, in many, many uh, months. I think it was the last one was Internet Historian. And when was that? Like like April or May? I can't even remember. So here we are. And uh, it's going to be a good event all day long on Saturday coming up. Plus, I'll probably order some food. We'll have like a Feasting with Phil special going on there as well so a good one it'll be a good day all right so that's all on dsp reacts next week a marathon setting of fun machinima reminiscing this is a good way to start off my month of celebration of my 15 years anniversary as a youtuber you know in the 15 years i've been a youtuber there's been ups and downs there's been a ton of history this is one big portion of my history that i'd like to finally get out there and document it because i never really could talk about it publicly when i was with them okay cool then on Sunday of next week, one week from today, it's the next DSP versus the Internet uh, React show. So we're having essentially two days of React content next week. I certainly hope that you guys will join me for that fun stuff. It's good for variety to break up all the other gameplay and things that we're doing, right? Right. You better take a sip. Cool. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Before we get to the schedule, 
And before we get to everything else, what I'd like to do this morning is talk about yesterday's streams, in particular last night's stream, because it was actually pretty fun and interesting. Uh, isn't like, that discuss. what the daily wrap is so, for? Yesterday was a dual streaming day of gameplay. Why are we repeating Star content? Fantasy 16, and I was like, oh, this is excellent, because we just had a big, boring-ass segment where we had to do fetch questing for Mid, who was building up the Mid. ship for your, your, your crew. You know, I guess this ship is going to be used. Oh, yeah, it doesn't seem that story. great. And you Seems had to do, like, no exaggeration, about 90 to mi minutes to two hours of boring-ass fetch questing, generic fights against enemies you've already fought. I was like, it's not very interesting. <laughs> but this is good because it's not... Oh, that snort was right interesting. Story, right? That was a hot snort. Right? No. That was a double Guess barrel what? snort. You end up in a new cleaned town, up everything. And you have to do more boring nonsense. You show up in the town, and one of the characters has had their merchant pass pickpocketed off of them. So now you have to spend, no exaggeration, about an hour walking in circles, talking with townspeople, essentially wasting your time just to get the pass back, just for it to advance to the next part of the major story. And literally the entire hour you're there has no bearing whatsoever on anything. It Stop hitting the mic. Removed from the game, and the game would have been faster paced and shorter. Oh, and, and he's he wearing this terrible t-shirt today, the, the MLG t-shirt. The pacing in the game is terrible. It's Whoever so bad, and it looks so tiny on him. And doesn't understand pacing of a game. They yes, DSP understands pacing of a game. Maybe should have been like an the faster to complete, the better. The main story to pad the length of their game. If you take out all these boring segments, this game is half half as long and it would have been a better game it's pretty sad that this is what the game is and so many people keep saying that they love it like what a fucking game are you playing i guess you like sitting around scratching your ass for two hours rather than doing anything meaningful in a video game i don't know about you when i play a video game i like to actually play something fun and challenging and interesting i don't like sitting around doing nothing for two hours until i get to that good part of the game it's stupid so anyway um we got through that, and then guess what? We got to a good part of the game. We got to about a 90-minute segment of action where we were in a city. The city was getting attacked. We had to fight some uh, some troops and then some enemies, some monsters, multiple bosses, and then finally we got to another big icon boss fight. Admittedly, I thought it was all right, and then it started to drag on, and then the game jumped the shark, and it's that simple. Now, I don't want to spoil because if you're going to watch the playthrough, you know, I don't want to spoil everything that happened. He's definitely going to spoil it. A lot of the times when I've been playing this game, I've been taking portions of it and comparing it to other tropes and other other things, memes and things. I've been like, oh, you know, whenever there's a big icon fight, it totally feels like two kaiju monsters fighting like in a Godzilla movie. Like, Ifri is basically Godzilla, right? And the other monsters all almost are equivalent to other Godzilla creatures that he's fought over the years. And then, whenever they're having their big fights, a lot of the times, oh, mash square. Oh, this is like... You know, in an anime when the two fighters are facing off and they're pushing against each other. Or like in Dragon Ball when two Kamehamehas are fighting each other, right? And there's like two energy beams. They're going, ooh, and you got to mash the button or whatever. So I'm making those jokes and then I shit you not. Does that mean that every shooter game is do. Call I of say, Duty oh. or Doom? So what are they going to do? Are they going to do this thing? And then immediately they did it. And well, I was like, he called it. kidding me. I mean, I was joking and then they did it. And I was like, they literally have zero originality in this game. The entire game is like a fanboy meme game. Where everything that happens meme is based game. On something else from some other medium. And they just <laughs> copied and pasted it together to claim like it's its own original entity when it's not. He's if so I salty about that game. About Why is he that's even about still playing it? And it literally happens frame by frame how I said it would. That's pathetic. I could have made the fucking video game. So what I pay 70 bucks for? Right? He could have made so, the video game. There you go. Dark Side Phil could make the video the game. Last night. And I was like, that's sad. Because, you know, I was actually having a decent time with it. And now it's like, I I'm going to have a hard time continuing on with this game, not laughing at every moment. I'm sorry. You know, it's just, I can't believe how, how, how low it's gone. And it's hilarious because I keep telling you guys, I enjoyed Final Fantasy 15 more. I enjoyed Final Fantasy 13 more. I enjoyed Final Fantasy 5 Pixel Remaster more. And people are like, you're crazy. Like, no, I'm not crazy. I'm honest. I've played much better Final Fantasies than this before. This right? honesty this gimmick, like, I really hate it about pretty much you know, every YouTuber. Dude, I'm just really honest. Is. Like, I'm gonna be honest Yeah, with but you, right? what is Listen honesty? Honesty is this, just saying right? what you think, right? Just okay. just being upfront with what you think about stuff. That's, that's what honesty means. But honesty is not always correct, right? Because you can be thinking stuff that is is incorrect. Just subjectively incorrect. I think I said this yesterday during the stream as well. You ready? Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This is a 
dumbed down version of Final Fantasy for the Super Nintendo from the This is a dumbed down version of a live stream. Baby's first Final Fantasy, okay? Is a better game and a harder, more challenging experience so far than what Final Fantasy 16 has been for me. Okay. Thanks for your honesty, I guess. Doesn't really mean much, well, but that a that's that's um, what you think. So I challenge you to go find Final Fantasy there you go. Quest because I go think you're find it. Gonna like it more. I'm serious. I like I can't believe the more I'm playing Final Fantasy 16, I'm really trying hard to like it, and I I liked the plot, and I thought that these big icon fights were good. But after yesterday, I'm like, and what's funny is it's like again the people who seem to like this game are completely. Oh no, that was one of the best fights in the game, and I'm like, oh my god. What if they're what being the honest? What's going on with people. How did you like that? This is like, okay. This is like, all right. That's like somebody telling you they're genuinely enjoying a DSP stream and you're like, what? How are you genuinely enjoying a DSP stream? You just went and you wa you you watched. Uh, the hair side view makes him look so special needs. Dude, the, let's let's not talk about the let's hair. See. Please don't Friday don't get 13, me going against the hair. I, I, I can't. Halloween. I can't. The and hair is, is next watched. level scary movie that parodies them all and you said wow scary movie is like amazing it's like the best thing yeah, wait no 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 scary it's a different thing case. though everything from the other movies and puts it together into one as a parody it, it, but no, it's a it's parody it's amazing the best it's not it's, it's, not it's nothing like movie, the things that no it's just it's different like a meme no no it's the best thing like oh my god I don't understand it. It's like talking to a wall. I don't understand how people... His smug face that he makes literally is the most punchable thing in the universe. I'm sure he has so many more trolls that he has any right to have just because of the smugness. Because that's that's the thing that I hate the most about him. The smugness and the arrogance. When most of the time it's not even warranted. I like it so much. I just don't get it. Big up, uh, well, Matt and Fantasy, Vikes. I don't get it. All right. So anyway, we're going to continue on. We're now 29 hours into Final Fantasy 16. For what I'm to understand, there's about 10 to 15 hours left. From what people have told me. If okay, he wasn't as smug as he is, he would have way less haters. Because, yeah. like, having opinions, being opinionated about stuff, that's fucking fine. Angry Joe is like that. But Angry Joe is nowhere near as smug or arrogant as this guy. Maybe it's one more segment. It's so hateable. It's such a hateable quality about part, a person. We're about to head into what's considered the final segment of the game. And apparently once you hit that, it is like full story development, meaningful fights, and all of that. Meaningful fights. On, on all cylinders. Like, it gets really exciting. Go figure what okay. that means. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, chew but that water. We're making the full court push. Is it tasty? To finish this game. A for, full right, court. We are finishing it. What the I fuck is a full court push? Okay. I mean, a full court uh, press. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like in basketball. So let's keep going. Last night. What, are, what is a full court push? Was the premiere of my first in my line of anniversary content, and what I mean by that is we are now. It's not. It's nothing like anniversary, anniversary content. <laughs> You can call it whatever you want. This is not anniversary content. You're playing Grand Theft Auto V. And that game is in no way associated with you. In no way. Nobody fucking remembers Darkseid Phil playing Grand Theft Auto V. Nobody associates the game with him. Nobody has fond memories about him playing fucking Grand Theft Auto V. It has no connection, relation to him. Content creator on the internet. It's been 15 years since I became a YouTuber. And... What we're going to do is a lot of throwback style content over the next month to month and a half before the new release is hit in September. We're going to do throwback playthroughs. We're going to do uh, special retrospective events. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff, okay? And so, this playthrough that we started last night, all right, I'm very excited for it. It's Grand Theft Auto V, the 10-year anniversary run. And you voted for this, by the way, because some people are like, well, why? He doesn't understand parody. This explains a lot. Yeah, well, he made Project 7, and that was supposed to be a parody of a bunch of stuff, GTA 5, and it's it's it. really not. You know, he he missed the whole point. I could have done, including Saints Row 2. There you go. Some more retro throwback stuff, like a Mega Man fun, a Classics Marathon or Super Mario Bros. 3. But you guys voted over. You guys voted for it. To see me play Grand Theft Auto 5 again. Okay? So Nobody knows we're why. <clears throat> we're doing it a little differently than the first run 10 years ago. First of all, I'm should have played the other Xbox retro Series games a whole new that he would have been way worse at. New graphics from the ground up, and I'm excited to do this because it looks way better. We'll talk about well, No, that no, it's not. What? What? Redesigned from the ground up with new graphics. Who the fuck told you this? Um, in addition, this time around, full what? streaming with 
my face cam, and interaction with the stream chat. Wow, when that's I this game so great. Ago, I had just a So you can pause the game and read shout outs and super chats and beg for money. That's amazing, dude. I love it. Direct capture and live streaming. And I was new at it. I didn't have any interaction with my live chat. I didn't have a face cam or anything like that to speak of. Instead, it was just me playing a game as if I were playing it by myself in my room. Uh, and I ignored all the st live streaming elements of it. That was really stupid in my opinion. You know, today... Yeah, it really was. 2020. I no, it's not hindsight, bro. You were in your mid-30s when you did that shit. You weren't like a 12-year-old. You could have known better. There's already been plenty of goat laughs in his yeah. new GTA 5 playthrough. Can't wait for goat laugh compilation of it. GTA always guaranteed to bring goat. Yeah, you are correct. There's a bunch of them in the in the first video that I watched the stream. Back then, be like, it's full of it. I ignore this amazing gift that I had in a live this amazing gift. Who wanted to interact. Who wanted to chill with me? Uh, because he wanted money. Because he wanted the best of both worlds. He wanted to be both a streamer and a YouTube content creator that makes raw playthroughs without any kind of downsides. That's what he wanted to be able to make money while he's live and then make money on demand while retaining the same format that he had when he made a lot of money on YouTube. And I just ignored them and acted like they didn't That's exist. what you wanted. I mean, that was and now YouTube doesn't make him pretty much any money on, on the on-demand videos, so he realizes how important it is to make money while he's live. It's really stupid in my opinion, okay? So I'm glad now that I've learned and I've changed for the better, and here we are, you know. He's changed so much. I love him. Later playing the game he's great now. I'm very excited for this, okay? So... He's so meaningful now. 10-year anniversary playthrough. I have not touched the game since 2014. When I did attempt to do a second run when the game came out for then-current-gen consoles, I bought rebought it on PS4. But after having played a couple streams, you guys didn't really care. You're like, dude, you just played it. It's kind of boring to see you play it again. And I just dropped it and never played it again. So really, this is my second playthrough ever of the game. Um, and let me tell you, we had a great time last night. First of all, way more people than I expected showed up. We had over 500 viewers. Uh, most wow, of the stream. that's um, something, I guess. Time. They were engaged. I think what it is, is for that, that playthrough is notable for a lot of people. That was the dawn of me, again, becoming someone who live streamed every day, someone who was doing direct capture. Um, I was breaking out from my old, you know, stigma of just being the guy with the camera. The guy the with the camera. The, the dinosaur. Style. Look at how he mocks himself. And people liked tuning into those live yeah. streams for a game like that. And keep in mind that GTA We should have a, a special DSP roast set where he just roasts his past self. Oh my god, that fucking idiot, he didn't pay respect the packs. What a fucking moron. You see, you guys, how much better I am now? I don't pay anybody, even if they make me an intro or a slideshow or a layout. Insanely huge game that at the time, I think, was the biggest game of all time. I don't know if it's still the record. If it still, still the is. Game of launch of all time or not. But at the time, they were. Um, so it was incredibly notable to see how different people reacted to the game and people loved my playthrough. I remember that was one of my biggest playthroughs of all time at the time when I played it. Okay? So, um... Man, it was fun. You know, I played about two he's shaking so night, hard. And <clears throat> it was a great time. And, of course, uh, his tits are very visible. I remember some, but I don't remember es all. Especially with and this so shirt. Through it and, you know, I'm driving around. And first Especially of all, when he's shaking notice, like that. This Xbox Series X version, full 60 frames per second. Wow. I didn't even have, I don't think, a frame dip all night. Not a single and frame. He could God, see. The detail in the environments is crazy. Wow. Like, everywhere you go. There's a poster. There's a, a billboard. There's spray paint on a wall. There's oh, water that's on insane. The they crazy, rebuild it from the ground up. Seeing lighting effects in the game now. It's a remake. It's so good and realistic. It's and so realistic. Like, oh my god! I I it really know isn't. The game looked this good. They really like bumped up the graphics on the Xbox Series X version. So <clears throat> just off the bat, I was kind of blown away. I was like, whoa! Like this looks superbly good. And uh, I really enjoyed the driving. Like, driving around now in full 60 frames looks so sick. You know, compared to the original... It's better on the PlayStation because you get the adaptive triggers and the... Um, you know. The haptic feedback. It's really... Years, it really God, feels great. has been completely, like, you know, redesigned from the ground up. Pretty sick. Wow, it's sick. Meatball Man says, GTA 5 looks better than Final Fantasy 16. Uh, yeah. I'm not shitting you. <laughs> That's a yeah. sensational mistake. It looks better than Final Fantasy 16, and it has a more consistent frame rate. It oh, does. wow. Crazy. It's smooth. Wow. It's smooth. Final Fantasy 16. It's almost out for literally over 10 years, dumbass. 
chugs and dips and looks like shit half the time. Wow. This game is, is re looking really good, okay? Um, now, as for gameplay elements and everything, I'm just getting back into it. I remember with GTA V, <clears throat> essentially they made it more cinematic to make it more similar to, say, the Red Dead series. <clears throat> And so when they did that, it's not as action-based anymore. So you're trying to, like, run and gun, and it doesn't really react as fast. Um, it's sluggish and everything. Compared so to what? To that. I do remember that. From Grand the Theft Auto 4 was the same way. You know, play through. At the same time, I remember, like, the game is a lot of auto-aim. Like, you don't really have to do much manual stuff in this game. It's mostly kind of done for you. Um, you can turn so that as off. As soon as I get used to that, I don't think it's if you want to. I just got to get used to the, everything kind of, you know, being a little different. Keep in mind, you know, I just played GTA's Trilogy. A year or two ago when it was released and that's very different you know it's a different kind of game than those he completely games. forgot grand oh, theft auto 4 stuff. came out like a lot of people for some reason but it was awesome i wish they would uh, re-release it um we did turn off the music which sucks because i was told there was a streamer mode he was, was like, told that's right up my alley we'll still have some music no streamer mode whoever said no that was streamer really mode. full of shit they were um, full of shit look at the, the way he gets toxic at somebody and he could have said yeah they were they weren't incorrect or inaccurate People will say just he, no. They were fucking full of shit, fucking idiot. Me live, just said, just turn it off. They're like, we'd much rather see you play the game, oh. not have the. It's as smooth as DSP's dent heads, brain. Well, the dent heads they're not smooth because they got a dent in them. But the dent itself is probably smooth because it, it's made to collect rainwater. F16 because of the gratuitous sex scenes that Prude side Phil was absolutely disgusted by. Well, that, there was one in the beginning. I don't know if there was any after that. Stream shut down, not have the videos blocked or muted. We just want to see the playthrough. So I turned off the music. And the funny part about it was not many people complain. You want to know why? Because <clears throat> um, it, it's why. mostly cinematics in and dialogue. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, okay? GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Oh, because it had classic the music, music. Is timely. It's yeah, of that era that the game is taking place. You know, the early 2000s for GTA. The same 3, with uh, with five. The 1980s for Vice City. It's just GTA Five takes place more recently than the other one, so you got recent music. In the 1990s for San Andreas, listening to the music puts you into that era. It makes you feel like you're there. Right? You remember, especially if you were alive during those time periods, you can remember how life was back then and how different things were. In GTA Five, the music is from 10 years ago. It's shit. It's like you what? Right? I remember what? When I was playing the game originally, yeah, oh, this dude is full of shit. It, I absolutely hate it. I'm coming over I to his the house. Music was terrible in real during, life. I was like, wow, there's like nothing notable. With a weapon, there's no tracks that I wanted to leave on the radio that I would hear over and over, and I'd be like, oh, group I'm gonna play here. Grand Theft Auto in reality. You know? Grand Theft Auto Renton. Yeah. Basically, I remember the music sucked. I didn't like it at all. And what's funny? Because you don't fucking know it. Because you don't listen to music, dipshit about it was people were like you do realize this he only knows the 80s 90s music because he used to be a kid back then and he heard some of the songs soundtrack for gta 5 was the most what a fucking idiot they ever had to get yeah um, you get you get kendrick lamar you get future you get all the fucking the 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 country station it's so fun when you're driving in the countryside listening to the country station yeah it makes sense because it's so good all the radio stations the there's so many of them and the, the the actual talk shows they're so funny and the licenses to use that God music damn you it's this it's like this dude is allergic to having fun those are older songs those songs are not going to be as valuable anymore to license only thinks okay, about money modern music you're paying premium God dollar damn wow, it. Those songs had just why is he dressed like an 80 year old tattler right smh Right? He looks like come out fucking... So I, I don't even know. For that music and the music he looks like a, a, a kid that got that got aged up extremely uh, through some machine or something. And he went in with those clothes as he was a kid and then turned out like a 41-year-old with the same terrible. clothes. So it was funny because I really just ignored the music. I didn't have the music and no one complained. I was blown no away. No one I the movie, Like, oh wow, he's driving a while and it's silent. No one cared. Imagine Pasta and Snort Wave channels in GTA 5. Yeah, that would be hot because they kind of fit because they're like and parody I, I like, satire well, stuff. Then. I guess this is a good start because it would have been disappointing if people were That'll upset be fun. with me because I muted the soundtrack. But people oh, let me heart all the super funny. chats. I didn't either. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I forgot because that's a new feature. We'll, we'll see moving forward with the playthrough, but the good news is the first two parts are live and didn't get claimed and didn't get muted and people seem to be enjoying them. In fact, the first two parts of GTA 5 are only only been live for like 13 hours right now and have more views than pretty much almost all the current videos that I'm putting out. What does um, that say? I mean, no surprise there. I mean, what am I doing now? Street Fighter 6 and Final Fantasy 16, right? So it's not shocking. 
that these videos are, are really looking at views. Are you really being missed reviews over Grand Theft Auto 5? It's being missed reviews over that. I'm currently playing, right? Why? Um, but why? I'm happy about that. Because he's insecure about his views. And I mean, I would be too. If I've been doing shit for 15 years and I ended up at a place where I can barely break 500 views. You know, I think it's the nostalgic. And 1,000 views is like an achievement at this point. The vibe is the fact that it's GTA and for some it's reason. It's nostalgic. People yeah, it. people, oh, people only watch him for the fucking nostalgia. People that grew up with him or at some point remember watching one of his playthroughs come back just for the nostalgia. And at some point they grow out of him and they just leave. That my GTA playthroughs are special. They They're love special. Play GTA over the years, no matter which one I'm playing, right? <clears throat> They're special because so, Mr. Medicare made fun of it now. back in the day. We didn't get too far. You know, we played about two hours. We did the intro segment for, you know, uh, it's uh, Trevor and Michael. It's the heist that goes wrong. You know, then we played the intro segment for Franklin. Um, and then we swapped over to Michael and we did like one or two side quests for Michael and then we ran out of time. So we're basically still in kind of intro build up, right? And it's fun. I like it. Now you can switch between Franklin and Michael. Um, and, you know, they're going to have new fun stuff coming up. What people really want me to do is get Packy because of my original. Get Packy? I missed Packy. Hey. Patrick McCreary. He was one of the, the oh, yeah. characters of GTA 4. That one. And he's a character in GTA 5. <laughs> if you get him, he can later on help you with heists. Now, I, didn't <laughs> recruit him in my I wish uh, Sam and Steve were watching this. Through 10 years ago. So people are really pushing for me to get this character this time around, which I'm down for. I want to do something. But I know what he means. He means Packy McCreary. Um. The Irish guy. So they're really fun. Kind of like the 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 that whole family in Grand Theft Auto 4, they're so fun, man. They're so entertaining. Do it. And I guess tonight we'll we'll heavily try to focus on that and see if we can recruit him. It would be great if we could. Because when the heists happen, you know, it'll be pretty neat uh to have him there as one of the characters that, that take part in it. So um What's hilarious is that idiots are saying that that's a slur. Yeah, no. you see? It's his nickname, <laughs> C A C K I E. And it's short for Patrick. That fucking Patrick slur, you fucking idiot. It's called a Packy. So if you say that, I'm just going to laugh at you. And if you continue to say it, I'm just going to ban you because you're an idiot. Why are okay, you laughing? Thanks. Laughing my ass off. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> so. What a story, Mark. It went really well last night. All right? It did. Like, I had a blast. Seems like you had a blast. Had a good time. Everybody um, had a good time. I'm excited now to continue on with this playthrough. Keep in mind, it was like having sex with his wife. Everybody got a good time. All ten guys. Just through the, the base story mode's about thirty hours. Don't more people than fact. watching his streams. Shall I check and see? Why not? Right. Let's take a quick look. What? <clears throat> no, we really being Mr. Views. Stop. Stop being Mr. Views. So stop it. Here, after my original playthrough. And that's why people got really bored with it. Are you serious? And okay, I'm turning so let's this see up. How long I played into it. This is good for stats. Let's see here. So this is good for stats. <laughs> he's being fucking Russell Westbrook right now. Except that's disrespectful to Russell Westbrook because he's actually skilled. I played eight hours. This dude is just stat padding for no reason. Just stat padding. And then I dropped it. Eight, only two. I knew it was about two streams. I only played eight hours. People got bored, and I dropped the playthrough. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready for this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Stop stat padding, DSP. 187 DSB. parts. Okay. Okay. And some parts were as long as 30 minutes. So they varied. I just an average of 10 minutes. Let's let's assume every part was 10 minutes. Let's. And the playthrough was 32 okay. hours long. Good. All right. Now, keep in mind, I did a lot of side content. I did a lot of kind of that stuff in the playthrough. But here's the difference. Back then. I didn't have an interactive audience. It was. Oh just yeah! Now it's gonna be much, much longer, much longer. Playing the game because he's gotta stop. He gotta have an unrecorded begging segment. He gotta have a a members begging segment. He gotta read super chats. Gotta p put people on the leaderboard. Gotta call somebody a fucking idiot and ban him. And that was it. There was no oh me stop. Yes, that's the interaction. Shout out contributions. None of that. Wow. Right. How is he making shouting out contributions seem like a positive? You're literally derailing yourself from the actual content. So today, this new playthrough that I'm doing is going to be very different. Big up uh, Infidel Castro for seven months, dude. This run, though, this playthrough that I'm just starting, I bet this playthrough will be longer than the original. That likely people will want to see me do a lot of, course of it's gonna be. the side stuff. 
you guys will be telling me about Easter eggs and things to do. Oh, right? wow, yeah. And I hope he goes uh, underwater in the submarine and spends like two hours looking for all the alien parts. He is being a heist companion. I'm sure you'll want me to do that stuff in this run, right? So that'll be the stuff that I focus on this time. The completionist and, uh, run. I guarantee you that this, this will probably be longer than the original. I'm guessing probably about 40 hours, if not longer, all right? So we got a long way to go, and it's good, because this is going to be one of the major focus games that I'm going to be playing over the next month and a half until new releases hit in September, okay? And in fact, the question came up last night, and it was a great question, okay? Hey, big ups to Ryan, four months, who says, big ups to my favorite detractor I boyfriend. My boyfriend. Big up Ryan, for four months, dude. Someone said, Phil, if you haven't noticed, this is one of your most popular streams you've done in a while. Why don't you play this as the daytime stream, okay? Because it's a 10-year-old game. People were like, yeah, you know. It's going to fizzle out within a week. We're not going to be able to tune in to the late night streams of this because it's too late for us. We'll have to watch the videos on demand, which is fine, but we'd like to be there live for some streams. Would you play GTA 5 as a daytime stream? Okay. So here's your answer. Yes. Yes. But only once we beat Final Fantasy 16. We okay. have to complete Final Fantasy 16. Okay. So this is the, the end of the question. You got your answer. We get to skip numbers for final fantasy 16 all you can find the only number that square enix put out publicly was the day one sales within the first day they sold three million copies because everyone pre-ordered it for some reason they haven't mentioned a single sales number since what happened in the month and a month since it came out they're not saying and everyone is actually trying to kind of uh, guessing what happened was everyone pre-ordered the game and then when it came out, played it, and we're like, what the fuck is this? And because word of mouth spread, no one else bought it. That basically only the initial installed basis who bought it, and that's it. And this had a, just like a movie, who everyone goes to see it at first, oh my god, it sucks, and then they, no one else sees it after. People are figuring it's the same thing happened. So, so, we'll see. so the people who really wanted to play it are playing it, and the people who didn't want to play it are not playing it. That's breaking news from Phil. Day. What an eventful day. All right, I was what an eventful day. GTA That's 5. awesome. Hours they've been live. Already they got more views on them than any video. Views. I, out I don't want to be Mr. Views. Series. What happened with more that? More views than Final Fantasy. More views than Street Fighter. More views than even, uh, well, I take it back. I think Amnesia the Bunker, one or two videos have more views. But can't keep in mind, those just were released, uh, you know, within a few days. Yeah, so okay. Shut the fuck really up about views. Show. As I've already explained, what we'll do is we'll finish the podcast. Channel, if you think that, email me. Send me Wait, what? And I hope that you guys will join me for that tonight, okay? <clears throat> what do you want to do? Orcs or dorks thinks he's banned from my React channel. If you think that, I Email okay, him. I'm pumped. I'm pumped to see more GTA he's 5. Pumped. And I hope you guys will join me tonight. Why is he so fucking unreasonably hyped about GTA 5? He didn't even put on glasses. 5 is one of the new cast. I actually or did he? Character. He was the new character for Street Fighter 5 that I played with a lot. No, no, no. We're not having a Street Fighter segment. This is getting bypassed. We are getting... To the point where we are alive. I'm looking forward to more of that on uh, Tuesday night, okay? And then on Wednesday, the daytime stream. Did you talk uh, about the He's Black clip yet? Uh, yes, right at the beginning of the stream. It was, uh, there was some context for it. I mean, the guy in the video game said he's black, and then DSP just repeated it and Gold laughed. Excuse me. The daytime stream. And I feel like so, if I really yeah. commit, to playing with Blanca on the stream, I could get. Really it's it's fun. really funny out of context, just like how the Eric Miller quotes are funny out of context, like this one. Let me tell you something, brother. When I hold a man's penis, I tell you what I do. I hold on to a tight, brother. So if you don't know what this quote comes from, then you're probably gonna think it's funny. I don't think I'm even if you know where it comes from, it's still five funny. Star diamond, you have to earn a ton. Oh of no. Oh, come on. I mean, that's it. That's the height of what We're having a Street Fighter segment. A master rank. That'd be very exciting to have my first He's so obsessed with being a okay. master at something in a fucking so, video game. He's so obsessed goal. with oh, random mean, validation I from the internet and video games. How is somebody this insecure? And has been doing like a full-time YouTuber job for 15 years now. And you're so insecure and you're constantly looking for validation from the internet. From video games. He gets hype when he gets an achievement in a video game. What the fuck? I'm streaming the night stream on Wednesday. What what the GTA fuck is wrong with you? Anniversary run. All right. So what an exciting week. We got React content and GTA tonight. Yeah, super Special exciting. Let's plan. get to it. There's gonna be a retrospective marathon where you guys are gonna retrospective begathon. My 15 years as a creator. They already did. We went over all of the favorite moments, and now we're left with the bottom of the barrel shit. And he's gonna do more retrospectives. It's like, dude, at this point, there's nothing else you can do.
all of your highlights for 15 years you've seen, you've reacted to. What else do you want to do? And we're going to have a whole retrospective day where we react to that. Retrospective day. Um, there's going to be a Project 7 retrospective event we're going to do. He's going to monetize his friends again. That's that's so exciting. Special stuff is coming in the month of August. I hope you guys are excited for all of that. Okay. And uh, yeah, he's he's um, overselling all of this because he knows for the rest of the summer there's no hype releases. And he's the type of guy whose entire business depends on hype video game releases. So he's really... Uh, I would say he's pretty concerned with how the rest of the summer is going to go. So he's going to have to go above and beyond with the hype and the special events and the, the emergency... Project 7 reacts and shit like that because that's going to get people talking, including trolls. I'm actually really excited to get, you know... He's really excited. GTA 5. Yes, and, and that's why he's hyping GTA 5 that much because it's a very long game and he can play this until at least middle of August. Gotta beat Final Fantasy. We need to get to all the, the hype uh, playthroughs that are going to release in, in, in the fall. Fantasy first. Once Final Fantasy is done, then we can focus a lot on GTA. Armored Core 6? I don't really know if he's going to care all that much about it. He's definitely going to play it because it's a FromSoft game, but... That back and forth. You fight that, that's one game. And he plays like two to three games at the same time. I think that'll be great. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking he's sweating. Cool. And that's not because it's right, hot. Because um... I'm sweating too of uh, out the heat. Title it. 15 years of Phil spelled P H I P H T E N. Hoy, hoy, hoy. <laughs> it's not bad. JJNS or something else. Although you have come up with Why, though? names for our last few events. So that's yeah, you did Phil's Fighting Feast and you did Feasting with Phil with a PH. So why is that so ridiculous? Pretty cool. How about we need to think of a, a, of a special name for Project We need 7, to think of the Project 7 event. And uh, Project All My Friends Hate Me Now because I didn't pay them and I was a piece of shit. How does that work? A little bit on the long side, but we can workshop it. Uh, we do need a special name for the retrospective. I was thinking I was just going to call it, you know, DSP's 15-year retrospective. I thought that would be the, a good name for it. All right, Orcs or Dorks did email me. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, well, yeah. Let's, let's are are we works. really unbanning people live on the air? We have nothing better to do. It's a great podcast where he looks at his phone uh, reading Orcs emails. You are not banned. On He's DSP not banned. Act. I just checked. Maybe he's just sending in really shitty chat messages that nobody cares about and nobody responds to, so he thinks he's banned. In fact, hold on. I'll check on both channels. Oh, oh. Wait, wait a minute. You can't be banned here. You just talked, right? Yeah, dumbass. There's no way that you're banned here. Banned. I mean, I'll just for the sake of argument, I'll double check. Nope. You're not, ban you're not banned on either of my channels. So I have no idea why you thought you were banned on DSP reacts, but you're not. Yeah, because well, he man. was probably spamming it some dumb so shit in chat. Nobody YouTube. was reacting to know, it. I didn't hide you. So he thought he was banned. It doesn't have the option for me to unhide you. So I'm not sure what's going on over there. There you go. Hype. Okay. Anyway. So that's what's going on. Now, we are going to do shout outs, but I would, well, should we do shout outs first and then get to the topic I want to talk about? Oh, Maybe yeah. We we, dude, we we all forgot there was a special drama topic. Kind of a big build up here for what I'm going to talk a about. A big build up, yeah. You guys have no clue. You guys have I, no basically clue. Basically, last night, as I told you guys, at night, before I go to sleep, usually I'll fish through YouTube for stuff going on. And a lot all of right. times I've been watching Street Fighter 6 tech videos to prepare for my I don't think it's the, the, the Dan C well, scrolls. I to my feed last night. It was the first time ever that I watched a video like this. And I was fascinated. I was absolutely was fascinated. fascinated. Let's see that one. But we'll talk about that. It's some random shit, Let's do like for real. First. Let's get it's not even drama about, about him. And then I want to focus on this for the rest of the That's show. what I got. Okay. <clears throat> but it might be crazy if it's uh good? if it's some um, troll shit, especially if it's the Dan right, C scrolls, so, that would be crazy. First of all, on the YouTube side of things, Orcs or Dorks, thank you for upping your membership for 26 months. I appreciate your 26 months of support. Yeah, he really is Ooh, vague posting about stuff just to make people see. hyped up. How fucking desperate are you for hype? That you're promising people you're gonna say something special, but later. We're not gonna do it now. Question that like 27 and he keeps teasing it in the last few days, and I've answered it every time if people keep asking it. I'll answer it again. Ooh, uh. we need a super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, we can actually Phil, skip some of the shout-outs. Your third GTA 5 run, you did a first-person playthrough early 2015, but not finished what happened. I'll explain it yet again. All right. Yeah, we don't care. People told them to not play it, as with everything. So, 
We started playing it, and within two sh Oh, I mean, interesting to see it again, but I guess it just really is too soon to play the same game twice in, in a year and a half, right? <clears throat> so. It's only been... It was only eight hours. It wasn't the full playthrough whatsoever. Like I said, the game is a minimum of 30 hours. So I wasn't even like a third or a fourth. Nah, he's never mentioned TBS in any way. Because so he learned from the SOK that if he mentions them, it's uh, fueling the fire or something. Even though it really doesn't doesn't matter for us. Not a second playthrough. The first playthrough exists, and now even if he had a crazy segment talking shit about us, well, of course we would talk about it because it's funny shit. Demo of the first, but it's not really game changing. So that clarifies. No, this is not my third playthrough. This is my second playthrough. Okay. And we're not really gonna fuck with him the way that SOK did, so it really doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna show up to his house or something. Thirty-dollar tip. If I wanted to, I would. Game tracker. And he wants to comment on his submission for DSP Reacts this week, and indeed you shall. However, allow me to play you a nice tip animation first. Game tracker, please. And allow me to get um, this uh, tip please. on the leaderboard. Go fuck yourself. Major please. tip of the day. Like, actually. And send me footage of confirmation that you went and fucked yourself. You fucking cuck. I want to comment on my submission for the week. I know I've submitted one of your early Street Fighter V matches before. That was from the game's infamous betas. This match today is actually from the game's infamous launch. Yeah, there's not a huge distinction, but there's three reasons that I submitted this video. Number one, it's hilarious and I can't help myself. Number two, now that you've played a bunch of Street Fighter VI, it's pertinent to compare its launch to that of Street Fighter V. Here's a simple truth. No matter how good... Uh, here's a simple is, truth. Um, go fuck yourself. In your stupid Street Fighter shit. Entries, tech. He really, like... He really wants to be DSP's friend. Like, really wants to be DSP's friend. Which is really fucking pathetic. Because that's... That's... Parasocial relationship to the max. Because, dude... Maybe... I'm not even saying maybe. No streamer is gonna be, like, your friend. If you keep on sending him money. And then number three... Especially DSP. Three. DSP gonna pr pretend like you're a valued member of the community just because you fucking give him money. And you tell him... Uh, you tell him stuff about... Things that he pretends to care about. In a recent episode of your podcast, someone super chatted with the suggestion you watch old Street Fighter V matches. They didn't provide any reason or context for doing so, they just suggested it. So I guess here's some context for it. All right. So I guess we're going to be watching a Street Fighter V match from the launch of Street Fighter V. But it's like, 5. Th that's the I thing, just... dude. If he was a cam girl, I would understand more. Because cam girls are usually attractive. They put in some effort into putting on makeup and getting their tits out so they're attractive. So you naturally. As a man, you would want to have certain type of a relationship with that woman, right? And some guys, they can't help themselves. They think that that's possible, even though it's really not possible. So they buy into that whole fantasy, right? I would, I would tend to understand, but it's Dark Side Phil. Hey, the game is terrible. Dark Side Phil, look at him. I know how bad it was. I mean, I get it. He has breasts and all, but are you attracted to him? So you shouldn't be. I Very suspicious. Today on the show. All right. All right. Uh, I also received uh, a two dollar tip from Zingy's what is he, a troll? wrestling pants. He says, "I can't wait for Phil's Fast and Furious 15 year festivities." Have a good stream today. Thank you very much to Zingy's Fat pants. and Furious. Smell interesting. What? <laughs> wow. Like like what? Uh, thank you for the two dollar tip. <clears throat> I just received two super chats. The first from Mango Jewel Pods. I think Game Checker has a crush on me. Well, there you go. Yeah, because he keeps sending you money and chat. trying to be your friend. I have arrived. Everyone pull out your Vaseline. That's absolutely disgusting, but it's good to have you here. Lord Prince Albert, welcome to the stream. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. That's fucking weird. <laughs> I'm relaxing. All right, getting ready for- Oh, sleep. this is the drama. Slumber. Get ready, everybody. Looking for something to watch, all right? And I'm just browsing through YouTube, and of course, my YouTube feed is now full of Street Fighter Six videos, because I've been watching Street Fighter Tech videos pretty much every time I play the game to try to learn strategies and things with the characters I'm using. It's worked really well, by the way. Like, you haven't noticed? Every time I take a character into ranked, I seem to know one or two new things that is really- No, not really. So anyway, um, I'm, you know, I'm on YouTube and I'm browsing through and something pops into my feed. You ready for this, guys? The big build-up. I know I've been building it up. It's going to be the underwhelming. Video, Get I, ready. Don't quote me on this. It's not word for word. But the name of the video is something like this. You ready? 
LTG can't handle the jab, jab, jab. Are you fucking serious? This is the hype. It's an LTG video. Now, immediately I read the title of this video. And I know it's a Street Fighter 6 video. And I think in my head, oh no. So basically, he probably is complaining about Street Fighter 6. The same thing I've been complaining about. That he's fucking LTG. There's too many characters. They call him the Black DSP for a reason, DSP. Characters who can just mash jab. Oh my god. And interrupts everything you He's do. gonna be dick riding LTG of all people. And I'm thinking, this is probably gonna be like a salty compilation video, right? Like it's gonna be like a, a, a 10 minute video where they just take him freaking out about uh, Street Fighter 6 people. He's gonna be dick riding the peanut butter done. complexion stallion. Gonna all right? So He's I gonna get on that video, stallion. And much to my surprise, that's not what it is at all. Huh? What this is is an hour long edit where basically they took matches that he was playing and it's weird because I think he, the matches they picked were the ones he lost, but at the same time, it's not like there were matches where he was getting like blown out constantly and freaking. I prefer the term darker side. Feel. <laughs> That's a, that is a good that that is a good term. Now, the darker know, side feel. Is, is that <laughs> Some dents are gay for him. I have seen it. Oh yeah, I mean, oh I see, oh I see. Straight up has a a crush on the guy. You can't convince me otherwise. People like to act like things are way more drama than they are. I didn't find the video to be too overdramatic at all. Because like, you're I just mean, like him. A few times during the matches, for sure. So do I. You know. I yeah, mean, dark I skin Phil is also pretty good. Worked up than he did in this video, right? But I don't know. Like it was fascinating because I've I've literally never watched LTG gameplay before. Just being honest, it's the first time I've ever watched this guy play anything because he's better than you content i don't you know i don't know anything i don't watch his stuff or whatever and i i actually watched almost the entire video like basically i became absolutely fascinated with this content okay allow me to explain why there was a multiple reasons Yo. why i was fascinated by this content this is him getting fascinated by watching a lol cow. He, this is the closest he's gonna get to being a detractor okay like so he understands the actual the, the actual experience of a detractor now. He was fascinated watching LTG. <laughs> Alright. So, number one. Yeah. His layout. Okay. It's much better okay. than yours. Here's my layout when I stream. Oh. Okay. Watching detractor videos now and says fascinating. Yeah. He was watching detractor Here's videos. As you can see, you know, okay. Keep in mind, this camera should be fitting into this frame right here. Yeah, but, but you, you have to layout. do it manually because you're sloppy as fuck. I would consider that my layout is a minimalist layout, all right? And what I mean by that is, as you can see, I give the game 95% of the real estate on my screen. For me, when I'm playing the game, it's about the game, right? LTG's layout essentially is he's over here in the upper by the way i did find the video it's by nikolai and this is the layout he's talking about so i'll have this running in the background so the the guy dave can tell you his experience left hand corner and he's got a big widescreen camera this is way below more of a professional and check. interactive layout he's than dsp currently so below him is the twitch so this whole third of the screen over here is him and his chat okay okay then over here like this segment of the screen is the game but it's small. It's like crushed, like small. This is what and he's talking he's about. Like, like stuff on the bottom of the screen running that says what music he's currently playing. Yes, he's a leaderboard. That he doesn't use the game's natural soundtrack. He has one of those things where he just plays his own custom soundtrack and it's all video game music, which by the way, I actually liked a lot of the music. He's playing like old Street Fighter tunes and stuff. I was like, this is good music actually. Some but not all of it. Like he was playing like Mega Man X8 and I was like, ugh, I can't stand the later Mega Man X shit. But he was doing some good stuff. He was like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, old Mega Man games. I was like, oh, these are pretty good tunes. Like, this is good stuff. But to me, if I'm playing a game, I want the natural soundtrack from the game to come through. I never understood streamers who play... Is that why you mute... Grand Theft Auto's music? ...play other music in the, over the game. Okay. I don't know. I guess it, it was always a common thing or a popular thing to do. I never did that. I always just played the, the game soundtrack, right? So, he's doing that, and it says the track... But the other thing, like, there's stream stats going on, and the stream stats were baffling. Okay, allow me to explain what I mean by that. According to his stream...
Because he got 2,000 people watching? Is he going to get salty over that? When LTG streams Street Fighter 6, he's got 2,000 viewers. Because <laughs> he's a better streamer than you, dipshit. Really? Yes. LTG has... Have you seen his Twitter engagement? He gets 100 times more engagement than Dark Side Phil. 2,000 live viewers. He's so fucking salty. That's great. <laughs> I was that's great jaw dropped I was like holy shit he has 2,000 viewers when he plays Street Fighter 6 he's got to be one of the top Street Fighter 6 guys bro there's a reason why you're level one dipshit he's so much above you when it comes to streaming and that's low tier god if that's the case I don't, I'm not aware that the FGC gets that kind of views on just random, I know if it's a tournament stream or whatever, but this is him just randomly playing, right? I mean, he's doing something right. If that's, if that's his honest viewership he gets every time he plays Street Fighter VI, he's doing really good for himself, and that's good for him. Like, I was actually blown away. I was like, I had no clue this guy got that kind of attention, right? So that was interesting. He thought that he thought that LTG got the amount of views that he gets. That's what he thought. And then he saw LTG's actual stats and was like, what? Um, but the thing- He's better than me? The thing that got me at the same time was, like, for example, he has his chat on the screen. I didn't see a single piece of intelligent thought out of his chat. Like, it just seemed like it was the, the normal, what do they call it? The normal Twitch stream monsters for fighting games. They're just spamming dumb memes and shit. They're insulting him when he's playing. They're just being toxic. DSP, you would be surprised of the outcome if you put your chat on your stream. And I was- Especially in the times that he says that DSP, DSP himself says that half of his chats is just a bunch of idiots. I was looking at this and I'm like, I don't actually see a single reason to have that on the screen. Like, it's not adding to the stream. If, in my opinion, it actually took away. I would rather see more of the game than, this, than the chat. The chat was, like, was too distracting and was very stupid. Like, I didn't get why the chat was on the screen because it, didn't, it wasn't entertaining. It didn't add anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the audience that was there, yeah, a lot of them were toxic towards him. And I was like, I don't think this Well, because he's LTG. I mean, he's a lol cow. So I didn't understand that. The other thing that got me, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be shockingly on, uh, honest here. So I watched this. It was an hour. Now, I guess this hour comprised two different sessions, a Friday night session and a Saturday session that he played. And both times he's playing it from 2 to 4 in the morning. Okay. He has the time, uh, his local time on the screen when he plays. And I'm like, geez. Play, I could never imagine playing Street Fighter at 2 to 4 in the morning. That would not be the time that I want to play. Yeah, this you know is 2.56 a.m. Like, prime time. And he's playing at like 2, 4 in the morning. Like, holy shit, right? Um, I don't know how he's doing that. I'm not falling asleep, honestly. So, so um, it's, it's, it's that streamer is that streamer schedule. At these times, and the thing that I noticed, so, uh. it's, you know, I watched an hour. It was an hour video. But each, you know, the segment, I guess if it was unedited, would have been like four or five hours of gameplay. But I'm noticing <clears throat> with 2,000 viewers, okay? And I'm, this is me being honest. This is not me shit talking. He wasn't getting many contributions at all. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, he wasn't getting contributions. He was pocket watching. He was sitting there watching a, the fucking LTG troll video and he was pocket watching. No fucking way, DSP. This is the most DSP thing you could have ever said. The most DSP thing. Was looking at the dude's contributions. My god. Like he had on his screen, he has his all contributions his, his stats and shit all over his screen. All the stats. At the top of his screen, it's like this person resubbed for this many months, and this person, or whenever someone would contribute, there'd be like a pop up. Uh, on no his way. Screen, covenant or something. Or sometimes if someone did like a $3 tip, it would do the AI talk where it would say something that they wanted it to say or whatever, right? So he's basically, you know, he's talking. And and doing his gameplay, no and contributions. He's got Two thousand viewers on the stream. LTG needed more channels. Oh man! Wikipedia summaries of the topic. Yeah, that's why he needed. Tribes. Yeah, that's what he needed. Big ups to J Dog as well. But DSP is never putting his chat on the screen. That's never happening. And the only thing I'm people are gonna abuse that shit in his chat, and really very few people supporting him. And I was like, wow, that kind of sucks. Imagine if you were getting tons of viewers, 
But maybe what it is is that the vast majority of viewers this guy gets are all people who don't like him. And they're just being real toxic to him. Okay, I like you. I a little bad. I was like, what? that sucks ass. But you're much worse. If that's the case, again, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever watched this guy's content. I think he so felt you, bad about him. You're bringing in thousands of viewers, tons of viewership. But the people are there just to basically... Oh my god, me. Phil. This is right. the most fucking disgusting thing. Are you fucking serious? Rather than actually support what you're doing. Like, I was like, that sucks, right? Now, the... For me, listen, I know I got trolls, but I also know that I got a good number of people. You know, every stream I do, we got hundreds of people who are here to be positive, to be happy, to be, have a good time with me. It's not every single time I play a game, people are here to dump. Listen, you guys razz me. I get it. When you I play razz Street me. Especially, you guys fucking razz me. All right? I get that. I was just shaking my head. I don't get it. I see a toxic chat. Oh, by the way, and this is another thing too. His chat wasn't really moving that much. And I'm wondering if he has a lot of moderation on his chat because his chat wasn't moving as much. If there's 2,000 people on the stream, why wasn't many people chatting? And I'm wondering maybe maybe because he gets so much trolling, he has to have a lot of- Maybe he was indeed botting. Too. That I get, all right? So you see, I'm trying to be reasonable here. This is the first He's time- trying I've to be reasonable. Any of his content. Why are we even having this segment? Oh yeah, we went down for a little bit. We're going to be back. Okay. And I'm busy we back. Uh, we're back. We're back already. Refresh. You know, again, it's fascinating because you're sitting there and you're, you're watching it and you're just trying to understand it because, you know, I'm a streamer. We are back. Like him, and I'm, I didn't get it. Like his chat didn't seem to work rebound. Like chat. His views were way more than mine. But at the same time, it seemed like he was getting way less support than me. And I was like, it was so Fuck confusing. it watching LTG. Like, was that's really that's the most fucking stupid thing, dude. Boy, big ups, dudes. Hey, big ups, uh, Swaggy Davis, dude. Weird. It was like a case study almost. They're trying to see how this worked, right? So anyway, that's... A lot of people in chat are saying he view bots. I have no idea. I'm not going to accuse the guy of anything. I Why did you accuse Tevin of view botting when you have no idea? Did you have an idea about Tevin, or it's just because you don't like him? Three in the morning. Doesn't he know? Ah, very nice. Valuable gin drinking time. Of course, yeah. LTG should have been hitting up that gin. I'm just giving you my factual observations from watching this hour. Factual okay? observations. That's my factual observation from what I saw. All right. DSP chat is like five times slower. Sometimes the night bot has four to five consecutive messages. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about the actual content. All right. First of all, immediately when I started watching, I wanted to commentate on the match. I was dying to commentate. I was like, dude, I would love to watch this live with my audience and commentate on the gameplay. Because I'll tell you, some of the things he says I agree with when it comes to the gameplay of the game. He's mad because certain characters are getting away with just jabbing like crazy and interrupting his stuff. I agree. I think that the game has a big problem with that, that there's certain easy mode characters. Who uh, maybe he's just making up, excuses, jab, dude, jab, just like you do. And they beat everything. And that's actually what the name of the video I think was trying to poke fun at. But it's a valid criticism of Street Fighter VI in my opinion. So I was kind of agreeing with him on a lot of that. All right? And uh, basically, you know, I was I was enjoying it because it's I was actually watching it neutrally. I wasn't against LTG, but also I wasn't... But bro, like, both of you are fucking delusional narcissists. Of course you're going to agree with each other on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to watch it objectively. And I was starting to analyze his gameplay, and I was starting to see some flaws in his gameplay. Oh, I look at this! Dramatically improve his gameplay. If <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wanna he wanna coach LTG. Coach Phil. Look at this dude. But one thing immediately baffled me. Maybe you guys can answer this. You wanna coach I really, I would this love guy? An if you guys have an answer, <laughs> for those of you familiar with LTG, okay? So this was gameplay from Friday and Saturday. Oh my god, I saw week. some of his so flaws. and the day before. So he plays two characters in Street Fighter Six. Marisa? Uh, excuse me. Oh, man. <clears throat> wow, that was a crack. He plays Marisa, and he plays JP. Those are his two main characters. I don't know if he uses anyone else, but that's all... From this compilation, that's all that they showed, is that he had those two characters. Okay? Um. So, here's... Number one, what confused me. So he plays Street Fighter Six a lot, right? I would assume he plays more than me. That's his game. That's what he's getting views on. He's getting 2,000 viewers a stream every time he plays the game. So this is what he's playing, right? Here's some lunch money. Hey, because for the lunch money, I'm going to heart this super chat so I can remember who gave me lunch money when I have my so lunch. I'll be Marisa thinking about you. Is I would assume his lower character, she's one star diamond. Okay, so kind of same level, maybe the same level as my Luke. I would argue that my Zangief and my, my Lily are get coming up 
and they're gonna hit Diamond very soon. So it sounds like his Marisa is kind of like a secondary character, and she's like one star Diamond, okay? But his best character is JP, right? And he's only two star Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smug face. Oh, keep power tripping on LTG. This is the fun, the, the, the most fun uh, the lol cow crossover. I hope LTG responds. That's going to be entertaining as fuck. And I was like, if you've been playing this game nonstop since the game came out. Oh my out, god, look at this dude. He's fucking sucks. And he got 2,000 people watching him with no contributions. Wow, what a fucking idiot. How is he only two star diamond? You know, my Blanco <laughs> is four star diamond. And I don't play that much. Like once a week I play Blanca, if that. And I'm four star diamond. And I'm like, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I wonder what's going on here. So, immediately, that's what hit me. I was like, dude, I thought for sure he'd be like master. I thought for, for sure LTG would be master rank. I'm not even shitting you. If he's playing this nonstop, I thought he'd be master rank. I think I would okay. think people in the FGC who are playing real hard. What is your point? Master rank. What is your actual point, though? Because he's beating around the bush. You want to call him trash? I think by now, I'm one of the few, you know. He's alluding to it, but he's not saying it. No, I, haven't, I'm, 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 I like the game, and I've played it a bunch, but I'm not master rank. Because number one, I'm not playing it full time. Imagine if Day SP and LTG in a voice pool. <laughs> Dude, I would love to see that. I would, I would love that. And number two, I'm playing a variety of characters. You know, I got Blanca, Luke, Lily, Zangief, Ryu. Uh, um, well, I'm having a brain fart now. The characters I've been using. Because you're a, a brain fart. Marie something. Right? And then I very I do variations of other characters as well, like throwing in like Honda or or Dalsim or other characters. You know, I played a variety of characters over the course that I've played this game. Um, I've split my time. I haven't only been focusing on one or two characters, which it seems that's what he's doing. If he's really only playing JP and Marisa, oh. right? I kind of scratched to my set head. Up that Street Fighter match, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, well, if he was trying, he would be upfront about it. If he want to try try and call the guy trash or call him a scrub, just do it and set up a match and have everybody watch, and it's gonna be super positive. Big ups to Fantastic Mr. Phil, who has Sam's photo with DSP face on it, which is weird, but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna like that super chat. How is he only two star diamond? Now Mango says actually. Don't he tell has Sam. Two accounts and he's switching between them. All right. That would be a legitimate reason and that's what I'm looking for cuz I was my mind was blown. I was like how could he only be two star diamond? I really was confused. So that's good to know. So he, if he's playing two accounts, maybe he's trying to avoid trolling, maybe he's trying no, to No, his chat is not broken. Happening. It's just yeah. slow. Um I see Dead Alex is saying the the on-screen chat is broken. It's not. It's just slow. It's just this slow. Ricky says he has two accounts. One is for JP, one is for Marisa. If he rage quits on the JP, then he'll change to the Marisa. Oh, wait. Well, if that's the case, then that's not what I thought. I thought you guys were saying... Yeah, this is getting a fast forward. Two accounts. And he, switches, and he uses both characters on both accounts, and basically he's diamond in both. That's why he's never accumulated enough points to get master on either. What you're saying is he has one account just for Marisa and one account just for JP, so then it doesn't matter. It just means he didn't get... He, he's not this dude is so fucking stupid. Anyway, um... That was my first major observation, all right? And then the other observation, again, I have never seen LTG play a fighting game before. I'm serious. This is my first exposure to it at all, all right? So he's playing, and basically whenever something happens that's upsetting to him, like, for example, he's doing a combo, he drops the combo, and the enemy mashes jab, and off of jab, they get a giant punish combo that's like 60%. Or, you know, there were some situations that I agree are bullshit that happened to me too. I'm trying to remember specifically one or two that 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 happened oh like a honda a scrubby online honda and he's just getting lucky with reversal headbutt and shit and then honda he'll do like a random level three super okay. so here's what ltg does when bro he... this dude is acting like every single character plays the same way and it's not depending on the person who's actually playing the character about to lose the match he's the most he, he silliest shit he doesn't close the game he just quits to dashboard okay he rage he quits like 20 seconds and then he goes back to the game and i was like he doesn't want to see that losing that. animation because it's an ego hit. I was actually really confused. What does it do that? Like he gets, he's, he's not pulling the plug. He's not like disconnecting or rage quitting. He just quits the dashboard. It's but a soft quit. The, game, the game's still running. And I'm like, why is he doing that? Because he like, doesn't want to see the animation where he loses. And it says, you're a loser. Once or twice. He was doing this like the entire compilation. You know, this is an hour compilation. He was doing it like every, every match he lost. And I was like, why is he doing that? I just couldn't, I was confused. Are you pretending that you're confused? All right. Let's say, for example, it's an ego thing. 
Let's say he just okay. can't stand losing and watching himself lose. Yeah, just like you. Okay. And the thing is, in previous Street Fighter games, maybe he was like, I don't want to give that person the satisfaction of watching a video where I lose to them and they get to see the animation of them killing me. But the thing is, with Street Fighter Six, every single match is archived. Every match you play online, the code is there, and anyone could go watch it from, like, a third-party view. Okay, but as you say, that's not accurately what happened. And the input that comes out is not accurate. You don't so there you go. So it's wrong. My stream to watch my matches. You can go access this dude is fucking sick. Streams and watch them back anyway. That's how. And it, it's something. He's sick from something that you can't die from. You just suffer. Street Fighter 6 works. So. You can't die from narcissism. You just suffer. And you don't even know you're suffering. For him to quit to the dashboard doesn't actually, like, make any sense. It's not like you, you're not even, you're not, I, I can understand like a Street Fighter 4 or 5, ha, I'm taking away. What is the point of this whole of segment? The animation of you beating me because I quit the dashboard. You didn't get to see the end of the round, right? People can go see it right now. Like literally you could go, you could find his matches and see him lose every match he's ever played. So it was very confusing to me that he does it. I didn't get it. Like I didn't understand what the purpose of that was. Well, it's a then, the other impulsive thing, got, thing. So he would lose a match and he would blacklist the person. Now, admittedly, I think this is a shtick. I think this is it's 100% a shtick. his shtick. He does this really? to get views, and he does it because it's funny. When he when he loses a match, and he, he'll even say, he'll even say shit like, I couldn't believe it. He was like, he's fighting a platinum player. Oh, the, the right, fake laugh. Dude, platinum. this this guy he's is like, to, oh my God. it's the weirdest shit. It's the weirdest segment I've seen in probably like six months. God, why am I facing a platinum level player when I'm in diamond? This is unacceptable. I don't know why they're matching me with this player. And then he beats the player. Right? That's a free win. That's free points for him to rank up. And he goes, oh, I don't want to play Platinum anymore. And he goes and he blacklists the player, blocks him, so he'll never play him ever again. I was like, isn't that counterproductive? You banned the person who you could eat. When ASP loses, he is mashing the quit match button. Yeah, and he makes all the thousands of excuses that this discredits his opponent from actually beating him. Easily beat, and you get points to rank He up. makes everybody who beats him seem like they beat him based on luck. Even further, why did you ban They him? accidentally like, beat him? him. And then there's other people, like, basically, when, you know, he loses to anything. If he loses to a cheap guess, if he loses okay. to a bullshit mix-up, if he... Does he lose problem, to a master loop? He, you know, all these things, he blacklists the person. And I'm thinking to myself, <clears throat> I mean, immediately... You gotta think. You gotta think about how it works, how Street Fighter 6 works, okay? The way the netcode works is that it looks for optimal connections, but it also looks for people of skill level similar to you in rank, but it also looks for regions. And a lot of people aren't aware of this, but it does. Street Fighter 6 is regional based. So you may have noticed the last few times that I played Street Fighter 6 rank, sometimes I'm playing the same person two or three times in the same session. You might say, wait a minute, there's like a million people who bought this game. At any given time, there's probably like 100,000 people online playing it. Why are you playing the same people over and over? Because it's region based. So a lot of the times I'm playing people in this North Pacific Northwest US over and over just because they're closer to me. You see? So if he's blacklisting players, all right, what he's essentially doing is he's killing his player pool. And here, so let's say he lives, I have no idea where he lives. Yeah, we got it, okay. Outside of your range, he plays, he's blocking 10, 20, 30, until eventually when he goes to play, all he's gonna have are laggy people. So doing what he's doing is counterproductive. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm watching the video, I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, maybe it's an ego thing with the go da quitting the dashboard, but... Is that an ego thing with you to make all the fucking excuses? The blocking of the people just doesn't even make, like, logical sense. I don't sense. know, this man. This guy's gonna shoot himself in the foot. Didn't you just give credit to your opponent when he beats you? So he's gonna have no one to play that with. That has never happened, though. That, that's not gonna lag. <clears throat> and this is a game that he's obviously... By the way, he's shitting on the game constantly. He's saying things such as, this game sucks, this is the most noob-friendly Street Fighter. And I mean, everyone has said that for every Street Fighter that's come out in the last 15 years. I, I said it for Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 5, I say, I don't even think Street Fighter 5 was a Street Fighter game. It was a pattern play game online. It was completely It's like the shit. weirdest segment, okay. dude. I, I don't even know what his point is. He's just talking down to LTG. And pocket watching. That that segment was definitely the best. Oh my god, he has like 2,000 views, but, but barely any contributions. <clears throat> what? Excuse me. Um, It's almost like all the people that are there are hate watching him. What the fuck? But, you know, it's Street Fighter 6 to some extent. I agree. There's a lot of scrubby shit in Street Fighter 6. Okay. Really There's a lot of scrubby shit. But at the same time, like, I'm trying to actively get better and learn. And I do feel like if I... Oh, and enough, he's not. And I practice enough. The scrubby shit won't come through anymore. Like, I feel like if I get characters to master, you're not gonna have to deal with drive impact spam anymore. You don't have to deal with people who just mash jack. Dude, this is his whole life. Man, I hope when I get to this level that 
something good is gonna happen and nothing bad will ever happen and then bad things keep happening it's everybody else's fault be a higher level of intelligence it's actual it's actually a cult player who's playing at a, at, a, at a higher competitive level they're not gonna do those stupid online things that you're not expecting because they're trying to play like they're in a tournament you understand it's just a matter of getting through those ranks but if he's doing what he's doing uh, again he's kind of shooting himself in the foot and making it harder for him to get wins. I actually feel like if he didn't block the people, he'd be getting better connections. And if he wisely, like for example, if you're spanking a platinum player, don't block that person. Keep them there. Play them again. Why? More free points. Rank up higher, right? Like why would really? You block that person? It just it didn't make sense. I think he just he gets real heated, right? Like and you see when I get heated, how I get I get bad. Oh, he gets like, heated, mad. dude. I start swearing. I punch my fucking joystick. I start going crazy on my streams. You guys have seen it in the last two months. How when I get heated, how heated I get? It's weird because he gets mad. But then instead of like going crazy, he just immediately just like blocks, go to the dashboard, block the player. Like that's his pattern to deal with when he gets heated. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like he's hurting himself. Like maybe. What? If he hadn't done this for the game, he would be a master rank right now, you know? And the other thing is, like, for example, I actually feel like, like doing a commentary on a video of his would be cool because I see things in his game that I know he can improve. That I'm looking, I'm like, dude, if he just did this, he'd be doing so much better. He'd be winning this match. And I'm watching, I'm like, dude, I, I, maybe, really? I, maybe I should do commentary, not just on him, but maybe I could do commentary on like Street Fighter videos. Bro, you were, you fucking trash. Because I'm learning the game, and as I'm learning, I'm seeing the holes in other people's game. And Are I'm you like, for real? Dude, they could, he could improve dramatically with just a few quick things that I saw. Like, his game could get so much better. And I think what it is is that he plays a certain way, and I think, I, I'll be honest, maybe he just doesn't get any help. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me to have that diaphone player watch my gameplay comment on it and give me legit feedback. What did Diaphone say? Diaphone said, stop doing drive reversal. Guess what I stopped doing? Drive reversal. I almost never use it now. Stop you just had one of your worst nights playing Street Fighter the other day, man. Like, actually, it's less than, like, 72 hours ago. Start parrying. Guess what I started doing? Par and that video dropped, like, two weeks ago or something. Parrying all the time. Guess what happens? I started... It's just the illusion of progress. Stopping rushdown. Constantly parrying as... Oh, my God. When I get heated... This is calmed. legitimately one of the lamest fucking segments all he's ever done. Down. It's also patronizing and condescending from a dude who has no right to be any of this. Bro, you a scrub. Get up, walk around, talk with your audience, take a break. That is something I'm getting better at doing. Admittedly, I don't do it all the time. Now he wants to be LTG's fucking therapist and coach. But I started doing it and... I'm getting like it's really helping. it's helping look what happened with Luke on Friday night the whole first hour with Luke was a disaster every match I'm losing I'm so heated my whole body was covered in sweat I'm serious my whole fucking body that's because you're fat covered in sweat I was so upset and then what happened was I took a break I used the bathroom I came back I talked with you guys we jumped back in for the second hour after I cooled down and I was getting wins so sometimes just getting legit objective advice can help i am so grateful and by the way i told diaphone how grateful i am i i, I actually reached out to him and said I just want to <laughs> it was slurping his cock thank you because you're oh my god thank you sir diaphone thanks so man thanks video thanks dude really instead you did a nice positive video and my game sucking that cock because you just gave me a chance. my game has dramatically improved he's making it you guys he's making it chance to observe evo 2024 watch out he's coming back the champ is back the champ is here Serve me objectively and try to help and it helped a ton what I a fucking you. cuck so you know oh my you know, god sir diaphone oh my god man you're cool. so good anyway, i think if i watch these videos maybe i could i could comment on them and i could watch top player videos i could watch mid to low player level you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, I, think that I legitimately know street fighter oh uh, he's so insecure you want to watch people who are trash and talk and give them advice and narrate over them oh, that, i've never seen somebody who's 40 and he's so insecure I enjoy doing never videos of the game. they don't exist maybe be content that i did but that's up to you guys i don't want that's to up to you guys, guys. this is just an idea because I, I was watching ltg's video and i'm like dude he could do this oh, look at that setup oh man now that's bullshit that that happened to him and this is that and i'm, I'm coming i realized i'm doing it in my own head i'm doing commentary in my own head this could be a video i'm making right now this could be a stream i'm making right dude now. i could monetize this <clears throat> I could be watching YouTube videos and monetize them. So I don't have to just watch YouTube videos. It kind of was an interesting idea, right? Um. Anyway, you guys, <laughs> now people are going crazy in the chat. They're you going crazy. This chat's been all time slow for the all last right. 20 minutes. It's, it's all fair game, you know? It is, it's all fair game. Anyone who's streaming, anyone who makes content on the internet, it's fair game to be commented over, you know? Um, really? Is that why you, you copyright struck super crazy and then released it because he learned his lesson? 
care. Is that what you did? Because it's fair game. My dad says LTG will never collab with you and he'll be pissed that you did a segment on him. I don't care. I'm not looking to collab. I don't care about collabing. I'm telling you, this is what happened with just me. This, and again, this video randomly showed up in my feed. It wasn't anything I was looking for. I just happened to click on it. You know, I freaking, I was like, let's just see. Let's just see what this is. I clicked on it. I was, I was immediately fascinated. And again, if we watch it together, I would basically explain all this to you. I'd point it out. I'd be like, look at this setup. Look at this. Look what's observed. Bro, fix up your own house first be before you talk about somebody else's house. What's happening here? This is weird. Let's right? Look this, let's look at that. I mean, it would be you know what they say about glass houses? Fun, I think. And then to comment on, comment on the gameplay or whatever, I think it would be fun. Right? <clears throat> I think so. So... It's up to you guys. You guys let me know. But anyway, you know, for, I, I was trying to approach it fairly, objectively, and as someone who literally doesn't know anything really negative about LTG besides the memes and shit that you guys say. What was, are the memes? I was just trying to approach it as like a neutral third the party. The Saturn stick? I was fascinated. I, I admittedly, I was sucked right in immediately with the gameplay, with, with the way that he was behaving, with his chat and how they were behaving. The fact that he gets, t I can't, I, I can't wrap my head around the fact he's getting 2,000 views a stream. I, <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> He's botting probably though. Coaching. I played it once. Hey, big ups Decepticron. I'll see you right after this. But uh I would I would like to play FIFA with you. I'm bad. I've been losing. I bumped up the difficulty to world class and I've been losing a lot recently. I had no clue he was that popular in the fighting game community at all. I was like, wow, I was blown away. But again, to see that and then to see that basically it was a lot of toxic people and it wasn't really people who were like there to enjoy. Is it like your chat? Rather than laugh with or enjoy the game. Oh, so it's like your chat. Really, you know. Anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. What is? We'll see what what's with think. the rocking? Are you right. nervous for some reason? Guys, let me know what you think. What's what's and, the uh, fuck is this rocking? Okay, I'll I'll take this like twenty seconds back and I'll put this on like eight times the speed. About to hit Dave with crazy illegal strikes. Yeah, uh, uh, DSP's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do it. Uh, look at the rocking. <laughs> it's like he's dodging bullets. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> you ain't got the answer, Sway. <laughs> and go from there. All right. But anyway, I'm just saying this is something that happened randomly last night, and it fast, absolutely fascinated me. I was like, wow. And by the way, I was watching this in uh, 1.3 so far. Interesting. And this okay. is the normal Phil. Normal Phil okay. sounds like he's actually drunk. All right. Um. Shout out um, to Nathan. Nathan gifted a membership and it went to Ed John Black. Cena. So I ignored my chat. All right. <laughs> All right. Derek's is an interesting fact that it'll be episode 23 of DSP versus the internet and it's July 23rd. Well, that'll help me to remember the episode number. That's good. Well, um, zero cares. All right, guys, we're winding down. We're running out of time. Remember, I have to set up for the react show. If you guys have any last minute questions or things you want to throw my way, now's the time to do it. If you yesterday on the show. So watch yesterday's podcast. Or soundtrack, very mixed bag. Through Dungeons and Dragons. Event, but uh, not set in stone yet. I'm trying to skip all the dog shit Q and A commentary over Street Fighter Six stuff. So it maybe, yeah. RB, no, I'm not going to see it. Review Oppenheimer, I will when it finally comes out on a home service. But I'm not going. What to is a home service? You don't have any of them. Remember, somebody has to buy it for you. People yeah, legitimately Jordan, buy like him movies. individual so movies. Retrospectives. He's that much of a fucking bum. On GTA Five or GTA series and GTA Four actually has some of the most detailed aspects in terms of NPC behavior in the city. What I said is when I played GTA 4, that was the first GTA I ever played, by the way. I never played the trilogy. I, 4 was the first one I ever played. I felt like I was in New York City. Like, seeing the way that the people... Whoa, he felt like he was Spider-Man, you guys. It was so immersive. Like organic, real people. And it was unique in that regard. I was blown away at that time. Remember, I'd been out of console gaming, only playing competitive Street Fighter for a very long time. And to see the games had advanced to that point where it really felt like a Sim City, you know, like Sim New York, I was like... Oh, he shit, felt like it was crazy. in The Sims. <clears throat> That's very so, immersive. There you go. It's up. Because remember, I got to get set up for the React Show. Terry over one of these LTG videos. So, I very much look forward <clears throat> to a fun day of streaming with all of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we get this. We get sexy Phil photo. <clears throat> Ooh. You. And that's it. I mean, that's it. Basically. Now, I'm going to... Oh, wow. This, this stream is actually over. So, uh, now I'm going to go set up. I will see you on the Decepticron stream where we're going to be playing a fucking drinking game. And it's going to be fun. Let me find it. It's here. It starts in a little bit. Let me get set up. Let me get an actual uh, a drink. And we're going to be right there. Right? Let me just uh, make sure that this will actually forward you to the proper stream. So I can go get ready. And it's going to be a lot of fun. If you watched our previous watch along with... Uh, 
with uh, alcohol induced fun then you're gonna be loving this one because that one's gonna be the same thing and i will earn myself whatever reward he is giving out this time because i don't know what's the what's the meta this time all right so uh see you around you guys big ups everybody for stopping by big ups for everybody contributing i hope i hearted all of your super chats because i appreciate them and that's the new thing youtube does so i will do it and uh until next time i will see you on the internet i guess that's my new outro phrase i think it's, it's pretty stupid but um there we go